It's a showtime, people. Welcome back to the coach's desk with your host, Coach Minzy. Yes, people, we're here another time to talk sports and in particular football. How is everybody doing? Hope everybody is doing all right. Hope everybody would have had a wonderful evening for those in Jamaica. Yes, it's the beginning of lockdown. <laughs> I trust that you'd have gathered everything that you need to keep your throat on um, that period of lockdown. Nevertheless, big up yourself. Thanks to the persons over there in North America. Big up to the people of South America. Uh, all the persons over there in Europe. Big up to yourself, Europeans, Caribbean nations, just about every single person who shows coaches this love. I'm also reminding you people of our merch. Yes, you can check the merch store and get your merch. You know what I mean? Get your shirt, get your mug, get your water bottle, coaches this um, items to show your support to the thing. And I also want to give thanks to you for liking up the videos, for commenting in the videos, you know what I mean? For subscribing. Thanks for also telling a friend to tell a friend about us, you know what I mean? We are trying to create a very good uh, community here on the coaches desk. It has started that way. And we definitely intend to adhere and keep up that, you know what I mean? So, let's have it. Our intro, we will be right back. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. All right, welcome back. Welcome back to the show, people. The second night of the weekend's Triple Treat. And we are looking forward to a robust discussion this evening. Yes. And as usual, well, not as usual for the part, for this weekend, we have um, started. Uh, we have started, you know, taking um, things with a different approach. So what we have added last evening, and I thought that it worked very well, where we have our call-in segment first, then the panelists join us later, and then we have another robust discussion. So we'll continue that for tonight, and definitely we would have gotten the feedback last evening. Many people prefer the call-in first, and then the panel afterwards, because this actually uh, take away the whole sort of cross talking and the talk over and all of these things so people just call in and share their views on the subject matter now as you could see in the title does the jff have enough funds to finish the campaign the world cup qualifying campaign yeah and we'll be talking about the best 11 going forward with this set of players many are saying that the crop of players that we have need a few more pieces and then things will you know be better for us will be more formidable going forward many are say are saying that the coach needs to go because he can't handle this team but let's see what persons will say yeah let's see what persons will say going forward because trust me we have some talented footballers um, like many persons would have agreed that this is one of the golden generation. But, I mean, you have to have good managers. You have to have good um, administration. Um, persons believe that the coach needs help. He, he has gotten help and so forth. You know what I mean? So, let's see how this one will progress. We definitely want to come out of the hole. We want to move up. We definitely um would have kick-started with the point against costa rica but definitely we want to move away from the bottom of the table because our aim and our goal is to be in the top three and of course by the talent and quality that we have we are easily in the top three in the region 
But because of some results that has been happening over the past few weeks, we are nowhere near the best right now. Some classify us as the worst team in CONCACAF to date. <laughs> Just because of what is happening. Where the team has been slumping. Many persons are saying Tapa out, Tapa in. Uh, persons are saying if he's out, who do you suggest? Many persons don't have anybody to suggest. There's a, there are a lot of arguments floating around about there's a rift in the team, a separation a segregation you know what i mean but definitely we 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 hope that you know things will turn around we hope that um things will be different especially in the october window where the team will definitely be gunning for nine points so i'm saying nine points nine points in uh over that period will be awesome for us awesome it's not gonna be easy it's a different thing when a con when a player play for them country you know than when they're at the club you know especially in this region these 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 central americans these north americans when they go out blood sweat and tears we are working hard for the country you know what i mean so let's see what will happen people the line is already open the line the line is already you open know. you're free to call in people you're free to call in device paired all right no limitation right now call in we take the first hour and a half to you know get into the calls people share their views you're free to do so yeah um you know this this concept came about well even before i tell the story someone is calling all right let's see who we have here caller good night you're live on the coach's desk yeah man good night coach lindsay man yeah, and jobless from canada all right jobless welcome man big up yourself how are things going yeah, man, not too bad, man. Big up yourself, coach, man. You do a good work, man. I just want to give you a little message to, to make the ball of them know. Mm -hmm. so right now, they just need to unite. Yeah. Correspond with each other on IG, both overseas and local. Mm -hmm. You understand? And bring back a unity. Because right now, just in a freedom online, right now, to just do something. Yeah. We all know, say, coach with more is not the best. But that's what we work with him right now, based on the situation. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So the ball of them right now, and what we can do, as we near said last night, we have to just do what we can do. The ball of them have to just link each other and just build that cohesiveness. You understand? We need each other and build back our vibes and just make the local. We can't done by the UK base player them alone, and can't done by the local base player them alone. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we have to come together and have some meeting. And DMN Law is the man for that. So DMN Law, I know you're listening coaches there. So just do the right thing. Because you know you're a big man and you want to see the best right now. You want to go work up. So we have to come together. Forget about the administration and the coach and we come together as baller and just do the right thing and just go out up on the pitch and just, just roll some ball. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What do you say about that, coach? Yeah, man, a good suggestion, that man. Very good suggestion. Very good suggestion. About linking yeah, up. We, um, we, I, we, I hope they have a WhatsApp group. And they they communicate from time to time, share stuff with each other. So yeah, yeah, jobless. That's a good. That's a good suggestion. Yeah, man. Yeah, man they, you know we have to move forward because we, you know, regardless of our a regular boy, same way. So we have to just move forward and move fast. This little, mm -hmm. little slow start or we start. I just like I call it slow start. Mm -hmm. you understand? It's not what we expect, but you see what it is. In Kanka Cup, and there's no joke thing around it. You understand? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pride, pride playing for your, playing for your country yeah, around yeah, this region. Yeah. So, you must just go out and just do the right thing. Yeah, man. You understand? So, well, like the ball of them, the MLO, the set the example, he's a, he's a strong leader, and I look forward to the MLO to start that, that type of campaign. Call up each other and talk to each other, local, 
overseas. You understand? Try to build that chemistry together. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. it call for the next match. A serious thing. So, so, so you, you believe? So you believe? Like, would, so jobless, you believe that the chemistry can be built um, without being on the field? Yeah, man. Trust me, yo, yo. Once the man them have that, trust me. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, it can be, it can be after field, man. Okay, okay. It can be after field, man. I'm going on the field. It's a continuation. You understand? It starts right, from right. It just, it's just communication, you know. It's just starting from one player, start talking to one next player. Make another player feel comfortable. That's all it takes, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A player feel comfortable, you know. Don't make them feel like there's a standoff issue. You understand? Mm-hmm. That's all it takes. A player feel comfortable. And they, it, it just it just fell up on the field. All right. And everybody knows that them have each other back. That's all it takes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So that's all I'm going to say. It's just positivity going forward. Because it just full up on negativity. Mm-hmm. We know we, where is that the best coach. We don't have it. We don't have the money to pay in the coach. So yeah, yeah. what we are going to do? We just work. So just the ball of them, we have to take it up in our hand. And we don't do the phone up as we can do. Think it about the, 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 the administration. We know them are crap. At the end of the day, you know, them are going to go yeah. walk on the World Cup field, you know. So, them exactly. really, they, they exactly. really, yeah, man. Exactly, exactly, exactly. We know no one got a World Cup. So, forget about the, 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 the administration and thing and look, go up on the field and roll some ball and build a chemistry towards one of that. I wouldn't have to do it now. It starts with some money, you know. You understand? So, do the right thing. And then the JFF see that, and then we then we then can then can add on to that and, and mm. continue it. You understand? Yeah, man. And and as the brother now, and that's how we push it. Yeah. Push the narrative there. And it can't work. You know, it has to start somewhere. Yeah, so man. So Bala wanna start it. Simple. All right. You know, yeah, straight. Yes. It has to start up. somewhere. Yeah, man. Big up yeah, man. Big that, up that, that's a good one to start off with. Yeah, man. Big up yourself. All right. Yeah, yeah, man. A positivity going forward. All right. Bless you. Yeah, man. Cool. All right. There we have it. Jobless from Canada. People, Premier League, Premier League, Premier League, Premier League. Crystal Palace, Blanc, Tottenham, three goals to nil. Arsenal got off the mark. One nil over Norwich. Brentford, Ethan Pinnock. Lost 1 0 to Brighton. Noisy neighbor City. They won 1 0. Bernardo Silva. And of course, on a similar jersey, on a similar rollout. So I know what that means. Yeah? On a similar jersey, on a know what that means. The return of Cristiano Ronaldo. You see me I say? And the boss, stitch it up. Stitch it up. Stitch it up. Yes, man. So we don't have to say nothing too long, you know. All the United haters saw what transpired today. So we don't have to be talking for too long on the matter on a done already. <laughs> and Southampton and West Ham, Nilal, Mikel Antonio. Red card. I know them still a pressure Mikel Antonio people. Man, they must say, yo, when the man travel one ten thousand miles back and forth for y'all for, for this trip to the to, 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 to the play for Jamaica, it's an issue and they're tired and all of this, they at 31 and horse dead and cow fat and he has a history of hamstring problems and hey man they must give man a hard time. But I can't touch this. I can't touch this. But yeah, man, whoops. Um, sad for Mikel Antonio, but that is a part of football. Um, Watford, Wolves. Watford nil, Wolves two. Chelsea. They make a whole pan eyes, you know. Yeah, man, Chelsea make a lot of noise. They, 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 they go on that thing today. They dismiss Aston Villa. But Aston Villa, even though the poster boy is upon the team, he featured in that game. And the man dashes some man. Uncle Rodega. Uncle Rodega. But that's your Uncle Rodega. You know, but you know that's what I think said to them. <laughs> yes, Leon Bailey. Good job today. Um, we, we trust that he will continue to remain, you know. Fit. 
because when him st- when him start and get going in now worries no worries 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 all right so chelsea on the board again all right this is kieran the chelsea man big up yourself for the super chat big up yourself dre and mpeg chelsea team on the desk <laughs> Bailey treat me defender so bad today. <laughs> hey, people, me here, I look at narrative of growing in again in a man. The man, they must say, I can't lay on Bailey that. Oh, the baller looks so. When they must play for them team, and him look ordinary playing for Jamaica. But we don't really want to get into that part, I think, man. But, you know, we have to mention it a bit still, man. I only could talk a girl again, man. But let me get back into the comment section, people. Dino Daly, welcome. The man from Canada. David Daly, welcome. Big up yourself. Ranil Kelly. I M K. Ranil Kelly. That name the sound familiar, you know. Name the sound familiar, man. No, that name there, you know. Dr. Joyful, big up yourself, man. Big up yourself, Dr. Jaiful. Eagle Republic. You put it that the current UK traffic light system will be stopped on October 1, 2021. UK travelers who are vaccinated will be able to travel without being quarantined upon return to UK. Okay, that would be a good thing. Fresh, big up yourself and welcome, man. Big up, big up, big up. One done MFC, MUFC, 45. See it there? Come out. Adidas and the United thing, is it me? Yeah, man. Rajon Williams, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Toki, big up yourself. Flo King, welcome. Westland, welcome. People, just remember that you can call in. The number is on screen. Running across the screen there, the number. You can call in the first hour of the show. You call in to let your voice be heard on the uh current topic that we are dealing with Leighton, the october fifa window is crucial if jamaica comes away with one or two points the campaign is over frankly there really isn't even time to integrate a new coach at this point in my opinion yeah all right fair enough andrew chin welcome andre gray have you come back in call up in a coach along with the yeah yeah eagle republic best eleven is um blake low pinock moore taxi alvas grant bailey ravel roof boza all right that's eagle republic's best eleven um everton jackson nine points i see two points on the low and four on the eye and for the next three games Mm. Mm-hmm. Young me, nice neighbor, low to the oh, nice neighbor. A city, a nice neighbor, you know. City is the noisy neighbor. Travis, welcome, man. I'm big up, big up. Um, LB take dopey, but defender really got to school today. <laughs> My dream here in a Travis. <laughs> The shooter gonna stop using Maggie to save his job. Hey, no, so a whole pack of gunners people they on the show here, too. A whole pack of gunners be seen in the comment section, you know. What's up, one one? Big up yourself, man. Welcome. Big up to the silent um, deskers. Yes, fresh God. Big up to the silent deskers. Big up to the children that are watching. Big up to the families that are watching. Big up to the ladies that are watching. Yes, big up on yourself. Those who are driving and are, are and you're unable to, you know, send a message in the comment section. No problem. We know that you're there. Those who are watching on a big screen and now we're nothing but a comment section. You just know, so watch the thing. Big up yourself. Yeah, man. And of course, you know the golden rule. Hit the like button. Yeah, man. A big thumbs up. Ian, welcome, man. Any captain for the national team needs to be inspired, unity and positivity. Does Blake or Lowe have those characteristics? That's a very good question. I'd love to have them to ask him. Yeah? Hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, one one is agreeing with Ian. Newcastle not good. Here, leader. 
Well, we can't say the same thing about 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 Aston Villa. <laughs> Our team, good coach, now for set forty. All right, King Six Pips, big up yourself. Um, I love Leon Bill as a baller, but I think he should be dropped if he gives us cameo performance in the October window. Two gold cups and counting is enough. All right, Kwame Moody, welcome. <laughs> All right, Gil Fitimal, welcome. Nobody can hold man, you man. I don't talk so man. Pass the back, you know. All the talk and noise just to lose in the Manchester Derby. <laughs> what noise will I make the vibe? Be yourself, man. Nobody start to the foolish already, man. Oh, I'm to you, man. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, the show nice enough, people. So I'm look forward to issue on weekend time. Mm. Seriously. All right. J Dice, welcome. Based on listening to Kimar Lawrence, if is if is being genuine, he should be the team captain. All right, Alonso. Man said lose in the Manchester there. We might talk about fresh. That's what I listen to him you now. I think Lukaku is underrated. His older play is immaculate. Marquita Ferran is here. He's here before Jason Ferran. <laughs> Welcome. Here, leader Tapa makes the best players look ordinary. Ricky Chupa. Big up yourself, Ricky Chupa. Let's say them bad mind. Tapa don't allow Bailey to play his game. Roof, fit it today. Yeah, man. Roof, go on with thing today, man. Hit the back of the net. Shedrock. Welcome. Yeah, man, him find it. Jordan Hyman, big up yourself. Mario Bailey, welcome. Oh, Tapa makes a ball look ordinary. Ask them, they know. Playing on the Tapa turn any good player in a street sweeper coach. Hey, I want to see Giovanni. <laughs> CEO is here, people. Dre, any weather? Big up yourself, brother. That's it. That's it. You mash up another side today. You lay them to blue. <laughs> Ian is saying, our, is saying our local base players need Jesus in their hearts to wash away all oh, negativity. Oh. Mm -mm. Jerome 876, yeah man. Alex Reed, big of herself. Piagan, lack of cohesion made Antonio look ordinary. Marquita, the same way he made Antonio look. <laughs> I want the people. There, Ian Fox, one thing. With Akka, him no bad mind like them, but he shouldn't be. <laughs> Why well, tell us that when I mess with them out? Hey, people. You see, people who are listening to this, and if you are watching, you go to your comments. Don't take the comments in personal, you know. You know why? Hey, people, hey, Jamaican, I mess with them. You see, man, you see, people them come on to whenever the Prime Minister is doing his. his, his, his address to the nation, really COVID situation. I mean, I tell you, sir, since that has been happening, the amount of meme will come out of this thing. And it's all in fun and laughter, you know. So we don't want nobody to take the comments and too personal. You see me? I just, I just, I just joke. So a man like Giovanni, the man that drama. <laughs> don't take him serious. So cry, big up. Tapa can say he spoiled up the thing already, so make him keep the job. <laughs> Owen, Owen, welcome. So like eagle just did that, just style the EPL. <laughs> Chevis, did Mr. Blake start the division in the squad before the players were assembled? Mm -hmm. Big up yourself, Manins. I am sure who are 16th place on the EPL table. I asked now, man, on a jump. Big up myself, Jordan, yeah, man. All right, David Dickels, Blake, Toxic, Pinock, Low, Alvas, Grant, Speedy, Ravel, Damari, Grear, Bobby, Antonio, Bailey. All right. Eames, big up yourself. King Javi. What is it? Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea. What kind of Chelsea Avenue you are talking about? Liverpool. Oh, I mean Liverpool. <laughs> uh, yeah, he really played a big part as a 
for senior player or that gun. People, remember the line is open. You can always call in. After the hour, we're not taking any more call. Comment them around like Shelly. Fast. All right. Dre Antonio Bailey, front three. Bless up Ian, one one. Dre anyway, Jairus. Big up Chris Smith. Jason, Marquina reads before you know. Anyways, big up yourself. We know a thing. Go. Big up Chris Smith. Mario Bailey. People, them are rolling. Remember to tell a friend about coaches, this people. Coach, you know, and think about the Premier League fan. Night upon the decks. Well, you know, we tried that already, Kieran, and we have to probably set up a different thing for the Premier League, you know, because we bring it around here one night and the man, they stole them back away. <laughs> I reckon boys, they want that, boy. Like when the Reds confident, the points sweet up. Top 10, big up. Oh, like Chelsea and the Arsenal people around here, you know. Arsenal are winning, you know. So, you know, some man step forward. A penalty roof score. And roof play the best out of all the Jamaican players today. All right, Williams. J. Ross, big up. Eagle Republic. Reggae boys should change to the Shakari boys. Eagle, <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> easy, you Tap her out now before it's too late. Tapa will make Messi look like a god now. My blue bright like sky. A good thing when I see it. I be ready to ask the this tonight. <laughs> ah, the more them fight and the stronger we get. United have a kick out holy potato. You mean Jerome? That was say no. We know uh, no soft people in the comments. Yeah, Ems are true. Sometimes I don't even want to comment today, I want to even read. Michael Garden, good night, big up. Yeah, man, the Arsenal be playing rollout, man. See how, see how I am sure you roll out. <laughs> you can't keep sending a message over, over England there, though. <laughs> Jason has the campaign done spoil. It no might as well tap us there. <laughs> A good coach can make the best out of ordinary players, and a bad coach can make good players look average. Aka Watson need to join both within DJ business. I say, my artist, did the team meeting include the eight players who went back to England? If not, I think in quite contrary. Explain that, I am sure, sports. Explain that. Explain that. Kojak is all about all reggae boys' content. Yeah, man. You know, say, we can probably do one for, for, for our next, you know, the, 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 the EPL thing. Can put up that as a. All right. Call a comment. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Morning's man. Device good. paired. Morning's man, welcome. A good is that. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, man. What's up? Yeah, yeah, little man. Big up, big up to all of the person in the comment section. Yeah. Uh, you understand me? Uh, li listening, you know, can't call because you know we have church in the morning. So can't can be on the panel tonight. But yeah, I'm yeah. Calling and ask is very important question too. Mm -hmm. so i i i was listening to the program last night and i heard that a, a meeting was called before the costa rica game mm -hmm. all right now what i want to know is that did that meeting include michael antonio ethan pinnock um liam moore bobby reed daniel johnson lavelle morris and michael antonio are you asking or you really team? want to tell me something? Not a part of the team? No, no, I'm asking because I don't know what format the meeting took 
But if you're going to have a meeting mm-hmm. and there's a 35 month plot, my, my belief would be that everybody would be a part of the meeting. Mm-hmm. Because so, if it's a team meeting and these guys came and played. So mm-hmm. I don't know that they were not, you know, that's why I'm trying to figure out if they were. Okay. Because if they were not a part of it, it could add to a further divide, I believe, in the team. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not aware of, of, you know, so, of that, though, in terms of who was at the meeting, but course. I heard of a meeting. Okay. You understand? Because all I'm saying is that I think if there, should have, if there was going to be a meeting, it, the meeting should have been kept after the game mm-hmm. against Panama, right. when everybody was present, right, discuss what happened during the game, and what needed to happen before the game in Costa Rica. And then you could have had a separate meeting in Costa Rica with those people. But to, 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 to eliminate the divide in the team, you cannot have a meeting, I believe. And those players who came and played in a game, though they lost, were not included. Who's going to keep them accountable with their actions if they, if they need to be? And not only that, right? How are they going to feel? If a meeting was called and they were not included, if they were not. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, man, that, that's true. See? Yeah, yeah and, uh, just imagine, just imagine you coach, imagine it get on a team, you know, and you come play a game and then when you leave, you could all, you could you could walk away feeling like the man and have meeting behind your back. Mm-hmm. And do even tell you. Yeah, yeah, true. True. So 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 my thing is, is that I, and I keep on saying this, you know, I think coach means part of the thing. I, I want to see the, the influential, because I'm not even going to say leaders, the influential people in the team need to start making steps to bridge the gap. Because you see what is happening in the fan base is, is what is happening, I think. It's a reflection of what is happening in the team. The fan base is, is as divided as the team is, or the team is, is as divided as the fan base is. It's like, it's like entertainment where people say, our artists are singing certain songs and they say, they will blame the artist for crime, and then the artists are saying, no, we are singing based on the crime, what we see. Mm. Right? So I, I think the fans, when they hear the fans speak every night on the program, they speak about English and local. Mm-hmm. And I think those same sentiments are in the squad. And the influential people in the squad need to bridge that gap. Because as if the people see unity, the people are going to speak unity. If the people see segregation and separation, that's what the people are going to speak. Right. So I think right now the people, the fans are reflecting the emotions of the players in the team. Because as, as we see, we kind of we can feel what we want. We can we, we can speculate and insinuate, and, and we can do things. All of these things we can do. So mm-hmm. we know that something is off, and the players have to fix it. People can't fix it. It takes the coach, I think, and the players right, right. to come together and set that, and then the fans will know. That everything moves up. You understand? Uh, yeah, because what is a no good? You know what I love to see? I love to see a photo of, of any of the eight players and any of the local players. I'm going to tell you why I said that. You're, when, I remember when Dean Burton and Paul Allen and those guys came. Mm-hmm. All of the local players took picture with them on the, when they came the first time. Mm-hmm. And all of those pictures were posted. I'm saying that Mikel Antonio come. You can see like there's a, like to me, and again, you only have speculate. Like, one of the respect, because you don't think about Mikel Antonio, you know, let me take a picture together. You don't see a lot of photos out there, anywhere, with any sort of coming together with those eight players and the rest of players. Okay. You haven't seen those things. But, 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 Bonnings. And to do it. Uh, let, let me yeah. look at it from a different um, point of view because I, 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 I hear you and I do believe that you're right. But could it also be indicative of the fact that they, 
they, they did not get a chance to go to Mexico because of the, the, the whole um, um, red list thing. But, but didn't they all have a session on the Saturday together? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, even at the session, man with the text picture in them jerseys beside Mikkel Antonio, it's that, that, that kind of thing. Like, if, if I were to go and train with MVP one day, and I say, Shelly, uh, as Ilian, one of the first things that I want to do is to ask her to take a picture with her. And I'm saying that, that is what I'm saying. Some of those things, and I'm saying, maybe there's nothing, you know, and I'm wrong, you know, but when you see these things, you begin to wonder uh, if there's a, a true oneness amongst uh, all the players. Mm -hmm. Because these are what you call the general practices in a team. Watch any big baller. If you play football and a big baller come at you, like what would happen if you saw Ravel Murray? If you if you are walking in half a tree one day, as an example, and you saw Ravel Murray, what are the first thing you're gonna do? No, 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 try to get a photo of him, man. <laughs> you go beside the man and say, Reggie, we take a photo together. I am saying, I have not yet seen any of these. Yeah, so, so some of these things make me wonder if there is, if there is actually some sort of sentiment that needs to be resolved. I hope they can do it. I hope that they can have a broader meeting if they have not had that yet. You understand me? Mm -hmm. um, like today, you know, mm -hmm. look at me, like... I wonder if the man carried the same disappointment from Jamaica about to him feel when him get red card today. Mm -hmm. You understand me? I wonder if him just disappointed in who poor him play for Jamaica affected him. I don't know. Me just assume. You understand me? And I'd love to know that like the captain and some of the leaders in the team could call him and say, hey, we know you got a red card today. You understand me? Um, but you soon come back, brother and king. That kind of that, that kind kind of Camaraderie, I'd love to, to know that exists amongst the players. Yeah, and yeah. I expect those players overseas to do the same thing. I don't know if that is happening. And I think some of those things need to be fostered in the team. I don't know. Maybe that's why the coach has brought in Akka. I don't mean, agree with it, but maybe he can help to bring some unity still. I don't know what the people them think, but I think the, the, the only thing can kill with your um, coach is, the, is this unity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I can tell you this, a whole lot of people believe this. But you tell people already, a coach when I have no sense and a group of talented players that are one in mind, heart, and thing can still get a result based on talent alone. It yeah. may not always happen, but if I put Messi, Ronaldo, all of those big talents, the Neymar, Mbappe, um, Van Dijk, if I Take up all of them mm -hmm. and, and say, Fresh God, coach them. No, here. man, say Arteta. We probably can win you. <laughs> <laughs> fresh God, Fresh God. I mean, say, Shut up. The AI, <laughs> coach the team here. <laughs> them win Europa League, our Champions League. Yeah, that is. <laughs> but, yeah, man, so we just call in and express the sentiment and then we listen to hear, you know, the responses and things. Yeah, man. And then read the comments because, you know, they love beat me at the comments. Yes, so one, one, one of the comments are saying, one of the comments is saying, man, is going to touch the pulpit with a fiery gunner's sermon tomorrow because you win. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, I will tell you, tell him one thing, you use an example. <laughs> I sometimes you have, sometimes you have your lowest, mm. all you need is, uh, all you need is one thing and everything changes. One thing changes everything. Mm -hmm. So tell the man and say, God has for life. Everything changes. One thing changes everything, coach. Mm -hmm. One goal and everything changes. All From right. 28 to 16. All right. <laughs> but we, 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 we got a point that we right. still <laughs> are we still at one, are we still at number eight. But I mean that's a different story. But big up yourself, man is man. Yeah, but all right, then. cool. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, there you have it. That was Manning's man, people. Yeah, man. Manning's man from I Am Sure Sport. What is it, Dre? You could have coached them. 
me could coach them in a half three four three and beat up Manu. When hey somebody wake up Jane over there. <laughs> Go and wake up, Jay, man. Jay, don't get ahead of yourself, man. <laughs> well, on, I want to go on between Alex and, and Travis. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, cut out the foolishly. You see, same thing on me. Hey, me not say me is a profit, you know. But me telling about the comment, you know, don't take them personal. Why y'all taking the comments personal? All right, Everton Jackson, best 11. Blake, Powell, Moore, or Maria Paolo, Grant, Maggie, or Turgot. Carla, good evening. What is this? Yeah. Good night, man. Travis, what's up, man? What's up, man? All right, coach. You have a coach. Mm -hmm. Coaches. Menze. Yeah, man. I'll listen to you, man. You're live, you know. Menze. Yeah, yeah man. Tell a brother, Alex. I'm going to love my brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, where's the all? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, take on the stone, man. Me take on the stone. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. You see, me say it earlier, you know. Me say it earlier, people. You have to not take the, the comment section serious. And everybody is entitled to their own opinion as long as nobody is slandering you. You shouldn't have a problem or an issue. When we can't, as we Jay said, when we can't miss a thin skin bridging. Just, just enjoy the program. All right, let us move on from that little debacle. <laughs> All right, so Ian Campbell 11. Your best 11 is Blake, Low, Pinnock, 
Brown, Lawrence, that is um, Javian Brown. Then you have Kevin Stewart, Ravel Morrison, Daniel Johnson, Bailey, Reed, and Antonia. That's 4 2 3 1. All right. All right. So that's not a bad team, you know. But you, 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 oh, you're using a, 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 um, the CDM, Kevin Stewart. Okay. I thought you were using the team without a CDM. Yeah, ball a car. Big up yourself. Um, coach, yeah. So, we as a nation have a big problem. Good example. We can't be unified. Fighting at the ball. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Lo was on sports work recently, and it was clear that he is one. Lord, I'm not reading that. Could you see? Oh, you mute the show a while ago. Some so you have to mute it when man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Giovanni. No, but big up to Travis still now. But when Travis did did, did call and the thing live, I couldn't make that fly out. You see me? So I have to have to mute it, man. Man, them just work on them differences. Please and thanks. Yeah? So, what you say? But Prison Boss talked some, some, some decent points last night. So, you know, even though I know everything where he said decent, but. <laughs> when you know it's a Prison Boss, I always nice up for sure, the man. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. I just want to remind people in the comment section last night he still put up a comment a gentleman said be careful how we talk because children watch the show and a lot of people said that oh it's bedtime for children just know that the program is widespread people yeah just just, just a gentle reminder all right, we must can't deal with the differences in a different way, no man. You know, if you call no name, man, you know what I mean? You can't take them. Hey, I one thing me learning you know, when I was going to high school, you know. They say once a man call your name or I say something to you and, and you get agitated, at that time they pressure you, you know. You understand? That time they pressure you. So let us let's let us hold it down, people. Keep it down. Um, Alva spoil a baller from school days. Yeah, man. Grams Green. Yeah, man. Time zone. All right. Carla, good evening. Welcome to the coach's desk. Hi, uh, uh, good evening. Um, the coach's desk, right? Yes, man. You're at the right place. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, I just called to just keep my views on the three matches that we have played thus far. And, you know, my thoughts on looking at the team, man. Um, where we probably, here the way I've gone wrong and where we can improve, well, at, at least in my opinion. All right, cool. Um, Go ahead. I was fortunate enough. Are you hearing me? Yes, man, I'm, I'm hearing you, man. Okay, 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 cool. On my side, it's kind of low, so that's where it is. Yeah. Um, oh, hold on. I was Pe fortunate oh, hold on, hold on sir. Hold on. People, are you hearing the conversation? You're hearing the call um, clearly? Quickly, just put a thumbs up. Quickly. All right. I'm not seeing none come up still, but just go and talk and me indicate if that is so. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, I said I was fortunate enough to be working in the stadium on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So well, that's a close-up view of the action. Very fortunate. Um, yes, the, yeah, 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 man. Yes, it's clear that there are issues mm -hmm. between a set, a set of quote-unquote local based players, or you could say the players that have been playing for the team for a while, mm -hmm. and the overseas players. Because you saw, you saw the the two, the, you saw the two factions basically. Even when they went out here, when they walked out, because I, I was here like two hours before the start of the game. Mm -hmm. So I was there when they when they were walking out, looking at the picture. You saw, you saw the English, especially the new one. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You saw them, you know, in their group. Then you saw Nicholas and the other guys in their group. Mariapa was probably the only man, you know, going between. So, you know, Mariapa, long time. Yeah, yeah, he has been here for everybody used to. Yeah. Um, personally, do you know? You see, unlike everybody at Nicka, I don't think it's that big a deal. These guys are professionals. They will figure it out eventually. Okay. And they will know that if they want, if they themselves want to go to the World Cup, mm-hmm. they will have to adjust. Right. I'm talking both locally and the international players. And players will eventually weed themselves out. You know, our World Cup qualifier goes, but like when we qualified in 1998, the same team that started in the qualification never finished the qualification. Right, that's true. There are many chop and changes made. Mm-hmm. That's the soul what it is. My, my biggest issue, though, is what we are doing tactical. Now, if we are serious about Mikel Antonio playing for the team, mm-hmm. we have to change our tactics. I don't know if you, I don't know if you look at the EPL stats. I was looking at them some hours ago, and I think it says Man City has the most crosses thus far, like 127 crosses thus far in the Premier League. Right. And second is West Ham. Mm-hmm. So the second team with the most crosses is West Ham. Right. So you know that you have to feed him from the flank. And that's why he has been doing so well. Yes. So when we are playing it and we are playing it to the it does not fit his style of play. You have to have wingers that are supplying the ball to him. So either his head or his foot when he's close to the when he's close in the box. So it makes no sense to put yes to big name. So I'm never saying no good no. It's the kind of play that he is. And he plays in a particular system. Mm-hmm. Bowser is a much different kind of player. He has much more ability. He has the height. He can do many different things than a football team. But we need all these different kind of players because we're going to go into, into a situation where we're going to need a player who can get a great hold up player. He's going to need to play up there and he needs the strength and all of that. So some of us, as, 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 as you know, supporters, we all want the team to do well. Mm-hmm. We just have to calm down a little bit. Okay. Early. It's, whether we leave it or not, it's early days yet. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I don't even believe that we necessarily have to get nine points in the next in the next three games. Right. I think I think if we can get four or six we're in good stead because I think and this is just me, I think twenty five points would be enough to carry a team through to the World Cup. Yeah man, they, Listen, it's not gonna be a a, 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 a it, big, big, big um points gain in terms of the teams running away and all of these things. It's gonna be a close one. They're going to get teams are going, teams are going, teams are going to lose form. Mm-hmm. They're going to get injured. It is going to it, it, it is going to be an ever and flow. Understand? So we don't have to understand that really. Mm-hmm. All right. So so what what you think about the, the best starting level um going forward? Um, so far, I don't necessarily have a best starting level, but I have some core players that I think are okay. Mm-hmm. I think Low, Mariapo, I think the number six, the, the, that played central in the, in the Costa Rica game, has to play. Um, Speedy has to play. Um, Bowser up front. And, uh, I think, what's the, what's the right, the right back, um, the number five, Uh, you named him earlier, man. The number five, the guy that plays it. I think he used to play for Portland Timbers or something like that. You mean Alvas? So I think those Alvas Paul, yes. Listen, I don't think people realize how good that guy was. You saw him in Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. We took the ball confidently and just went past players. Yeah, man. Yeah. And um, Taxi Lawrence on the flank. I think that's the core of my team, and they will add players. Right, right. Add and right. take away players. Yeah, man. As great as more, as great a pass as Maggie is, Maggie is not consistent. Mm-hmm. So he will have in and out games. Okay. All right. That's it for you. So that's just my. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's just my. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up.
Yeah, people, yeah, man, that call was a, was a decent call. People, you still have time to call, you know, we have a lot of me, um, time to go where um, calling is concerned. Who else gonna call? Yeah, man, I, I muted the phone a while ago. Person sound like somebody I know. So I just um asked a few questions, find out, you know. Phone line is still open. Uh, we need a different right back from Paul E. Can Cross, Tide for City Jamaican, B Tech, one bus. <laughs> hey, Jamal, it's easy, you know. <laughs> Did he say Boza over Antonio? The man pick him core players. He never say over who. Him saying pick him core players and they are odd pieces. Do not misrepresent the gentleman. <laughs> Do not misrepresent the gentleman. Oh, I'm told the man. <laughs> yeah, man. So the phone lines are still open, people. Number is 474-3538. It starts with a 876. <laughs> so you, you, you are free to call. You are free to call to voice your concern. Alvas are a wish baller. So many years in the team are going forward. Jay Brown and Wizard in better right back than Alvas. All right. The man voicing their opinion. Yeah, people. What say you? How many of you notice that Burke have to sit out the next game? Yeah, man, he has to because of the, the, the accumulation of, of, of cards. Yeah, man, he got um yellow card. Um, yeah. Alright, check out some more of the comments in the comments section. Oh, Jerome said, never did I hear. I mean, did mute, man. Okay, man, get out of the phone now. Wait a No, sir. A, a good point, the man, met, man. So, if a man have issues in terms of all of us in the game, you know, he played well enough, people. Look at it. When we look on him, 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 him stats and them thing, they man play well. All right? And if you're saying that you need to work on him, him crossing, that's that just one aspect of the game you need to work on. So we now go, we now go something there. And him kind of persons are also saying that he's not too fit. Let him show us something different up Costa Rica. Never played bad in Mexico. Hmm? All right. King Javi said, that after be a Chelsea man, Dre anyway that's sports. We alone thought this level of <laughs> I want to them Chelsea man, man. The reggae boy standoff in March had nothing to do with 2K. It was all about securing places. Okay. A year or no? Jerome 870 said, Dwight McNeil is the man for the crosses. JFF. But, but let me ask a question. Do we believe that we need more um, separate and apart from assistant probably over the left and right flank in terms of defense? Really? In um, what, what, what I was going to say. Formula, your, your, your comment distract me now. Of course, the man played well. Look when it starts them. Check his last game in Costa Rica. Attack go, went through him and and and, and um Kimar Lawrence. It wasn't that it wasn't the best game. No DL his own. The issue we did have with the turnover and turnover the ball a lot. That are the issue me have. 
But I mean, yeah. Yeah, see, Owen, Owen, I said he wasn't bad. Yeah, man, based upon what we see, he's never that bad. The issue we have with, with, with something. <clears throat> All right, the issue I had with Alvas was the Eva turnovers that he had. Somebody said we need Mattox back in the squad. So, Formula, what's your take on Alvas' game? It was atrocious? I don't think so. Yeah, because him have this attacking um thing where him like him work and forget in the cross. And if you notice the coach played a game against Costa Rica where you know where he was he was going down those side using those players to attack. So I don't know. Does the record boys have a chaplain? Not that I know of. All right, Ishmael, that's true. In 2020, JF had a working deficit of 68 million, 858,578. And an accumulated deficit of 136 million six hundred and thirty four thousand twenty two cents their own ac state that which is accountant continuation is in doubt and it is dependent on obtaining continued support from sponsors shine best 11 blake um low more powell lawrence grant speedy morrison bailey blake bailey burke nicholson coach may yeah, i bridging but we can't endorse that one of us well i know me alone said it you know but i doubt he was shaky and i know on a number of defensive plays but but formula a player is complete not because of one area of weakness we have a player is good and you'll have a, an area of weakness that not make him the worst player you understand what i saw in the game is that he had a lot of turnovers which wasn't good based on the amount of time we turn over the ball. But separate and apart from that, he had a stout game, man. Now I'm going with Formula. I'm going around it, man. And if you can convince me that he was atrocious, you hear the word I use? Atrocious. Tell me, and then I'll agree. In what aspect was he atrocious? And I'll agree with you. Because he calls them drive. I'm gonna drop the link. Um, first talk to a link can drop. How many people on 153? Tell us if the link can be dropped. You know, they are helping the cause. Hold on, look at one different conversation start. On a number of defensive players. There's an army like the chaplain here back in the days. So Alvas cross a ball and went for a goal. goal. <laughs> yeah, the man, the man deal with Alvas, man. And when the wizard didn't go play there, Alvas, the man didn't call back for it. Hey, it was easier. 
But anyways, I try to find the last game, you know, because... Let's see. So now I say all of us can cross. Why is in Canada? All of us have one eyes great funny feeling. Oh boy. Power it off. Work we are working on. Formula, see it you now. And others who say Albus wasn't or Albus was atrocious. Well, we don't see formula on site yet still. See the formula? <laughs> but yeah, we have to just make do and make the comparison right here and then. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Caller, hold on a second. Device paired. Oh, I'm on. Oh, it's that poor. Okay, I can put in a lot of mileage. Too much to type code. I have to answer when I jump on the live. All right, so since, since we have this up, assess this. His sofa score was 6.8. That's his statistical ratings. Once him over 6.5, in pass poor, meaning once it uh, once it below six point five, you 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 your your game was not so good. This man was six point eight. Ninety minutes, one clearance, block shots one, interceptions four, tackles three, ground duels one five out of eleven, aerial duels none from one. This was the issue I had with him. He lost possession 20 times. And that's the issue I had with Alvas Paul in this game. But a call is coming in. Caller, welcome. You're alive. Uh, good night, Coach. Is there? Good night, sir. Come on. Coach. Oh, you say Alvas. Did well and at the end of the game. At three right back, we have on the field, the coach. Which game are you talking, sir? Three right back. But how all three, yeah, go ahead. How, how three right backs on the field had to do with Alvas Powell's play? Because he was so bad defensively, he wasn't giving us anything going forward, and he basically was identified as the weakness for the, the Mexicans continued to attack him and Tapa refused to take him off because for one he looked like he was maybe injured rather than the ailment but, and he was constantly beaten one on one. All right, but um we're not talking about the Mexico game but we can look up the stats for the Mexico game because I it, Really, the, the, the Costa Rica game we're talking about. I wouldn't blame them. Oh, well, well if it's the Costa Rica... Uh -huh. All right, coach. Well, if it's the Costa Rica game, he didn't have a bad game. That, but, may, that may I try to tell the people, me, him, but they must say, him, him, him never have a good game. No, man. You see, the thing is, going forward, he gives you more than he, 
you will ever give the defense me because that, that has been one of the weakest years of your game. So, and the thing is, for me, the reason why I, 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 I don't really judge the team based on the Costa Rica game, honestly, well, I think in Costa Rica is really one of the weakest teams in the zone because they play really slow. They give you more than enough time to get back in transition. And really and truly, if you look at all the other teams, the attack with pace. Mm-hmm. So for me, I don't really judge this team based off that game because so far what I have seen, well, for me, w- one thing I want to look up coach. Mm-hmm. The two games that we play prior to the Costa Rica game, how many crosses come from the fullback? You have to re- look, um, bring up that. We can't bring it up right now. So that would have been the, right. that would have been the because Costa Rica. I I don't think that it is going to show you the um yeah uh, hold on I think I can't find it because based on 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 this rating Alvas was poor in the in the in the Mexico game so we 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 agree with that but the last game was with yeah, US man, was US and Costa Rica right no Panama and Costa Rica but but it wasn't bad in the in the Costa Rica game oh you're talking the two Costa last Rica games game. right. Panama and Costa Rica, how many crosses? No, 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 no. You said the two games prior to that. Because, yeah, prior to that. Because for me, <clears throat> I don't know what type of I was thinking when he threw um, that team for the, for, the, for the Panama game. Because, coach, would you put Messi and Ronaldo to play a defensive midfield? Who? Messi and Ronaldo to play a defensive midfield? No, they might go out of them comfort zone, but probably if they... like, but but coach with a team like that, I don't know why you would take a team with two number ten playing as the two defensive players. So that team was way too unbalanced, and then you weren't getting anything down the flanks from a fullback. So so really and truly, if you look at that game, the team was such such a shambles. You really couldn't expect anything more than what you saw. Right. So you're you're right. You know the Panama um sorry, the the, the last the last game with the US the the um yeah. Lawrence and Al and Alvas between the two of them in terms of um crosses. Yeah. Well Yeah. Um Kimar Lawrence make three, but none of them never accurate. Alvas made none. Exactly because that's the thing, that's the key thing for us, you know. And that's why for me, for the best level, I think it's in this COVID time, mm-hmm. and based on how the team is playing, we can't play a back foot. The reality is we're weak in midfield because we don't have enough cover in the central area. And our better players are really in the attacking area between attacking midfield, forward and, and the wingers. So mm-hmm. as I think for me, what Tapa should do in a 3 4 3, <clears throat> I would have. So, sorry again, Carla. Like, there was only two, one cross made in the Costa Rica game in the Gold Cup. O'Neill Fisher, and it wasn't accurate either. So, yeah, the cross in the cross in was poor. Exactly, that is an area of weakness. That's why, I, I, for me, I would play a 3 4 3. I'd mm. play more. Low Pinock play Bobby Reed on the right hand side, play Grant, but he was the speedy based off his performance and what he has done for us. I think he would deserve to lose that spot. So I give speedy because I think defensively we are conceding too, too many goals. So you don't want to offer as much protection in that central midfield. Play taxi on the left, and then I would play. Antonio, Bailey, and Ravel. But then, because it's COVID time, coach, you have to, you have to rotate them. Because remember, you know, if you, are, you can't play three games in seven days and then go back to your club to play another full nine. So, what I would do, because Alvaz is so weak defensively, mm-hmm. more with offer the protection, go to Alvaz and Bobby Reed for the, the, the right of the midfield. And the thing is, to me, coach, the reality is, 
if we really are set up full box, that is the weakest here on this. Yeah, yeah. Apart yeah, from true. Central Mint. That's true. That's true. And based on these and, stats that I've looked at. Yeah, man, go ahead. No, I'm saying based on the stats that um I looked at a while ago, yeah man, the, the, the full box are 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 not putting in the shift. Or is it a case where they are they have to be doing a yeah. lot of defensive work? That could be a, a, a situation as well. But finish up Carla so because we, we don't want to keep the line. You're playing um, a fat back four, you know. You have to be getting something from previous. Yeah, yeah, true. True. Yeah, so that's why for me, we need to play. We need to play three at back and play the two only in midfield. Protection. But but you know you know you know I see that I see this 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 finish up caller finish up. I'll make the point after you through. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, man. So that's that's why. And for me, what I'll do rotate Bowser with Antonio, like. So when you do in the first game, the so two love or a three love, you test more that a sixty, you start both are in the next game, give him a sixty and you Antonio. So you try to rotate mm -hmm, your mm -hmm. front players and keep them because we can't risk the injuries no based on what we have now. We can't risk overplaying them and then send them back to the club to get injured because for real life the windows are so close. Mm -hmm. So that that for me that's it that's it. But coach, you know one thing, the last thing. Yeah, yeah. You know you make great deal like get Huh? You have a man who pull up and say make great deal. Before we last at at Panama again. Remember he was saying that um if the team play, what if the team play well and is fall all alone out here coaching the team, and he said no 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 you not you don't want a division. Mm -hmm. But yet the team play atrocious and he's not gonna stay with more was the team. He's gonna post the coach as well. So to me it doesn't really have a point because mm -hmm. these things cannot mean you know, the team can also play good and clear but depending on the circumstance. Alright, boss. Big up yourself, man. Thanks for the call. Yeah, All right. yeah man. Peace. Alright, so the point that I wanted to make. I was given the call a time to finish. Um, it 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 run away from me. So sometimes when you have a point to make, you make it right away. Now, what was I going to say? Anyways, we can't we, we can't get about that. We have a few more minutes for before the phone lines close, or the phone line. Um. Jairus, I'm not rating. Kyle Walker Peter is much better than him. Justin James from Leicester City. Carla, good night. Welcome to the coach's desk. Hello, good night, coach. Yeah, man, blessings. Yeah, I am not for pulling the side with foreign base players, neither for it to be only local base. Mm -hmm. so I am for a mixture, however. Mm -hmm. Why the coach still continuing with Alba Spoil, who is a proven failure at the position? Doing Fisher, who is doing a who is doing full Fisher? replacement. Who is doing Fisher? Are you talking O'Neill? Sorry, yeah, O'Neill with a woeful replacement. Mm -hmm. Why is it that they don't give the player from one over white cup, Javian? But didn't he get a so, game? I, 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 think, can't. I don't know why the coach doesn't want to start him. I mean, Alvas and Fisher and those lads would have been proven um, con, um, soldiers for Whitmore. So, I mean, that's I would believe that... <laughs> I would believe that's that's the reason why you'd be picking them, but I can't tell you a definitive reason why. Remember, um, Javian is 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 a is a person who you'd call it new, not really new, but he's new to this whole World Cup qualifying thing. So I mean, sometimes, like I said, coaches normally 
prefer persons who are going to give it a hundred percent. Um, sometimes the players. I agree that they are too coach. They are proven failure, and we see that over and over. So I believe that there must be a change. We're not going to go forward, continuing on the same path, you know, unless you change direction, you know. So, so, so. Secondly. Uh huh. I'm listening. You were saying something. No, man, go ahead. Go ahead. Secondly, I was watching Sports Max some time ago with Craig Butler interview. Mm -hmm. And I watched the interview before Costa Rica match. And I know, funnily, Whitmore did everything in the Costa Rica match that Craig Butler said that he should do to get the positive outcome. Exactly what Mr. Butler said that he should do. You know? And I'm also not for Mr. Butler to run the program, you know. Mm -hmm. But somebody must can give her in chance a listening ear. And not to continue with the same foolishness to make changes, you know. I support the reggae boys, but it cannot be blind support going down a precipice, you know, because I'm going to go up by bandwagon. I'm go by precipice. <laughs> because we all have eyes to see. We all have eyes to see, you know, including the coach. I may assume so I have eyes to see, I'm like him blind. Anyway, I'm giving somebody else a chance on the program. So uh, I'm here listening. All right. Big up, sir. Big up, sir. Enjoy your night. Yeah, man. You too. Respect. Hey, you see that comment that you made, Shutter? But Javian is a local baller and just gone to play overseas. So what you saying? You, 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 you could be on to something, but Javian is a local baller. And I think, I think, I think the coach who's the coach in our, is it under 20 or under 23? You understand? But, I mean, we can question the coach, but trust me, in the on the training ground with the ball of them, him know him sit, him know what these players would have been doing for, 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 for a period of time. Um... We, as content creators, would have said a few things, and you know, some persons get invited and all of that, which is a good look, yeah. So, I don't know. And sometimes you're in the position, or you're not in the position, and, and we say a lot of stuff, and then. When you go in the position, you just um, hug up everything that is there. That's why certain things you can take in terms of put, um, jobs. If you don't believe something, like you get a job in a position where you go against whatever. Don't do it. Yeah? But for me, when I'm picking my team, and you can see on here, we always, I always pick Javian Brown. Because the youth is playing sublime football. Yeah? He's starting in his team. I doubt um, Alvas is a starter. But Alvas would have been serving the, 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 the nation well and he'd have been serving the court well. So, again, anywhere in the world, like people, you have coaches with their favorite players, big managers. You wonder why some man still I use James Will um Milner, yeah? And people talk. You wonder why um Pep still I use that baller. You wonder why Ole I use that. You wonder why Morida did I use Fellaini. You understand? So 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 this is our situation. This is our reality. Some baller does I don't know. Is it that they have to be in the team? How things are looking, they would have been a part of the core group. So, they have to be in it. Do we believe that a, a, a Kyle Walker-Peters coming in now will disrupt the team? I don't know. Amari Bell fit nicely. The same can't be said about Wes Harding. And from what we understand, Wes Harding's preferred position is in the center. Not on the flank. 
All right, Jeros, and uh, yeah, that can work. That can work too. <laughs> yeah, man, definitely, man, definitely. We have four minutes to go before the call end, people. Jump on, jump on the line. All right, Kwame, best 11. Blake, Toxic, more. Law, Brown, Grant, Williams, Ravel, Bailey, Demar, Antonio. Man, I'll pick Demar when I reach it. Division in the JFF with respect to the reception or rejection of the UK players, especially big named players, influences the attitudes of some of the local base players in the UK to the UK players. Yeah, man, that, that's, that could be on a nice 180 degree. Coach, I don't think we should invite any more players from England until we have these players united with the current club. If not, it's going to be the same issue and they are going, that's true, that's true. But then again, in a John A, man, them, Somebody say, me watch, me watch Isaac Aiden, him can definitely say he was the worst. All right. All right, Tony Lynch, big up. Every player sang the national anthem in the Costa Rica match. That's one thing I want. To see moving forward. Hey, this 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 thing is is this national anthem singing thing. I can't use it against the players, you know. Me got a function and I'm singing national anthem and me not sing it. Is it because I don't know it? It could be those players don't sing it because they don't know it. But are Jamaicans really patriotic? So I'm going to get the first opportunity for cutting up. Kwani, what do say about new players? What did I say about the new players? Listen to me. You don't misrepresent me, you know, sir. Don't misrepresent me. I ask the question, I'm not advocating for it. It's a question we ask. Oh, we can't get so heated, man. <laughs> Where's the Owen? Owen, yesterday said Jamaica. Boom. <laughs> yeah, man, we don't know the national anthem. That's why we don't sing it. But yeah, man, that man has sing it thing and I said Jamaica. Boom. <laughs> yeah, man, I asked if it's a choir or a football team. So my man then came with whole note. You know? <laughs> <Whee. laughs> Why have you tell us that we're not the best little the people? We're not the best, man. Trust me. So we still don't talk football, man. Trust me. <laughs> Pretty lady, they are. <laughs> All right, see a color coming in. Jesus. Good night, sir. Welcome to the coach's desk. Ah, uh, coach, big up, big up, big up. Alex, Alex. what's going on? Hey Alex, um, see, you see, Alex, me, me. Me just I read one text yeah. one of my sister and sending up. <laughs> she has said yeah. your boys are it's warring. Oh, the funny thing I war, Bridget. No, no, no. all right, coach, but now I war in a coach. But listen, some of these people. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alex, 
me just ask the question. Me don't want an explanation because we don't want it. To, we don't want it to be repeated in terms of redo the whole conversation. Just talk some football. All right, all right. Mm. All right, then, cool. So, um, I, I want I want you to like give to the best eleven going forward. Like, I don't know if you could do the best eleven tonight. Yeah, man, we have to do that. Man. I, I would give you my my. But I'll give you my 11 right now. So, Andre Blake in goal. Mm-hmm. I would start Javi, Javi and Bill on my right back. Um, Two centre back, I would go. I'd, I would play 3 5 2. So, I'd play three, um, three centre back and two my wing backs and push up high. So, mm-hmm. I'd play Kimmer Lines, left wing back position. Um, um, Alvas, right wing back. Mm-hmm. I'd play Leon Moore, and Damian Lowe, and, and Ethan Pinnock. In my middle of my part now, I'd play. I play um Kevin Stewart and Anthony Grant. I put Ravel in front of them. Mm-hmm. And another wing I would have, I would have, <clears throat> I would have Jamal Lowe and and Liam Bailey up top of, of Shemar Nicholson because he's scoring the goals. So I would start it that way. But I would use Kevin Stewart and Anthony Grant as double pivot in the middle of the park. What do you think about that lineup, coach? No bad, no bad at all. Yeah, so but most of these centre backs though, I think Ethan Pinnock for one he plays good um three at the back. Mm-hmm. But if you want to play against USA, I think three at the back formation the LPR three, four, three. Mm-hmm. I, I think that would help really good. All right, that yes, was cool, on, but let's hope that we do our scouting thing on those teams going forward so we can um and, Yeah, my and listen you know, but, but, um, you see the game against mm-hmm. you see the game against Costa Rica. Even though Costa Rica mm-hmm. is considered one of the weak teams of the round, you know. If you notice, you know, the strategy yeah. was to go down the flanks, you know, attack on the left and the right, you know, because Costa Rica has weaknesses on those lines or those channels. So that's why the reggae boys used Alvas mm-hmm. and um, Taxi to, 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 to run down those channels. So I mean they did a little okay. um probably a little scouting on, 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 on Costa Rica. Let's see what they'll do in the but, other but, games going but, forward. But you but 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 you but the USA have gonna miss a couple of players, I think uh Mikenity. I don't I think Mikenity should be come back, but it depends on how the coach feels though, because he broke the rules, mm-hmm. left the his quarantine rules and uh, whatever. I think G. Arena is injured right now, and mm-hmm. Christian Politic have injured, so I don't know how far you know, Christian Politic has sprained ankle. I don't know how far that's going to recover back and come back again. Um, I don't understand that. That's how I know about their team. Um, the weakness in their team, I see, is the center back. Um, it, it, center back. Um, team Ream is not good. They always cuss about Team Ream, and they always cuss about legit that he always played about back. I played about back, mm-hmm. but I definitely see that Jamaica needs to. Um, be the high person. Press them high and press them high in a quadratic pressing. I think that can help them even more. I counter press. So therefore USA not good under pressure either, just like us. So you counter press them, you can even win the ball back from them. You give them a couple they like to play with the ball from the back. So therefore that go and Jamar, Andre Gray, most of the players are on farm. So hopefully by the time the the, the, the thing come around back the, the red list thing is not in the play. So we can call back all our players and uh, and I can play and mix the team properly, coach. So uh, yeah, that's that's uh, that's all I have to say. All right, big up yourself, man. Yeah, and and and, and so one more thing before I leave, we don't you can't fire the coach at this point of the stage. I don't think that you can't fire the coach at this point of the stage, coach. I think it will be very bad. I think we call even more more trouble in the team. Yeah, yeah. Even if you um you let go the coach you now because the players trust the coach and and they have they love the coach, which it would cost a lot of players and the new coach coming in the now they probably trust them and have the type of relationship with that coach. Uh-huh. So I think that's the case. But even people say Tapa out, Tapa out, I don't know who Tapa is, who's going to be next coach in. That's the question we want to ask. So I we have to just get rally behind the team and be positive and uh, hopefully these players get together and know that they want to go qualify for World Cup. So that's the problem. You know? So I'll tell the people in the comments and no, though I'm not against nobody. Yeah. But this is what it says. All right, Alex, we go. So, Alex, apologize to the persons in the comment section. All right. So, 
Hold on, a call was coming in while let me see if we can return. Oh, which one of them? Oh, this one. Yeah, so add one in phone and the people. All right, see if we can return the car. Yeah, man. Quick question. Go ahead. We keep hearing the talking about the, the marriage. Is he coming? Well, we, yeah, man, we hear that he's, I'm looking about his documents. That's what, that's the last thing we heard. Okay, sounds good. Next in quote, why tap up a Nagi Javan in a game? This youth here. All right, last night, I Vancouver, man, I talked to you. Yeah, man. We had a game last night. We watched him up here last night. Mm -hmm. Coach, I love to see a starting 11 with um, Demari and Taxi on the flank. I overlap and a square in the ball. Then. Right now, I watch Taxi I play, even though they're on that too. But them two youth have to play upon the flank. Mm -hmm. Have to play, play the right back and left back and a, and a, and a overlap and a queer some ball from this brother's name, Antonio Foot. Have to jab some ball from him foot. Yeah. Why tap on the them youth this youth and no game? I can't answer that, you know. I answer that at all. Something not right, brother. Oh, no, nah, I get this youth and no game. This youth here. This youth here is a talented player. You know what him play, coach? Yeah, man, him, him talented, man. We call, we call for him, you know. Yeah, he was doing I'm pretty a boy well. And I'm watching him play every home game down here, you know, brother. Because I'm living right next door to you. Know. Okay. Every home game I watch him play down here. You know. mm -hmm. Yeah, man, a baller, man. People them love him at Vancouver, you know, man. I love him out here, the youth are jack ball, you know. Yeah, man, he's a, he's a good baller. My God, don't know, man, I love him, man. We tell this new coach, I want him to get him right and have him play the right way how he's supposed to play ball. He's just green, man. All right. That's it, right? All right, coach. Big up yeah, yourself, man. man. Up, yeah, man, I'm going to discuss the best start in the level, man. Yeah, man. Big up, big up the whole Vancouver. And thanks oh, for yeah, calling. I only for man watch you in a coach. Watch your thing in a man. We need, we need to hear your best starting 11 tonight, brother. Yeah, man, we're going to drop that, man. <laughs> All right, my brother. Big up yourself, man. Respect. Yeah, man. Vancouver one in the house. All right. Vancouver one in the building. Big up. All right. Respect. Respect. Cool. All right. Hello. <laughs> Where's that 12? <laughs> Mala, that 12 player, Alex Carlo, that one. Go, hey, me not call to the finger. I don't know what's going to start. I like me to lose count. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> me lose count. Me lose count, Mala. Me lose count. <laughs> Red listing of countries will not stop. It's going to be strain after strain because of mutation. That is true, I'm um, watching. Man of the formula. Coach, what's happening, man? Why? The coach is this weekend to put it you know? Cool, no, man. Cool, cool, cool. All right. As you come, <laughs> as you come, but you should have talked about the Albus for the situation. Can we do it? You want to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> Not, well, we just jump on still for all our vibes still and talk about football. But um I mean for all right, one particular player that comes to mind, right? Well there, there are a couple of them that come to mind, but I remember one in particular with Alvas in the Costa Rica game, right? Where they mm -hmm. it was a one v one with the Costa Rican white player, right? And he was he was in the half space cutting inside, right? Well, he was dribbling at Alvas in the half space, right? 1v1, Alvas said to Obama and showed the man. The man had dribbled on his right foot, you know. See? 
mm-hmm. dribbling at Alba. Mm-hmm. Clearly, the man wants for cutting at the half space, cut inside and take the shot. Alva show him inside, and the man sets a bomb and take the shot, and the shot just barely grazes go by. But see, you know, just look, Alva's look because if that did score in a coach, would have killed Alva's right now, you know, because nobody wouldn't forget that play there. Seeing the man show the Costa Rican white player on him, on the inside, show him inside. The man is a right footed dribbler dribbling at you into the half space. Clearly, the man wants to cut inside. And he show him inside. Another particular player, me remember, um, Alvas was kind of tighter to the center box, right? To Damian Lowe, right? And Burke was the one out there addressing the threat out wide, right? And the Costa Ricans double up on him. The Costa Ricans double up on, 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 on Burke, and there was the, the fullback set, a set of bomb and I make the overlapping run, right? Now, my thing is that we had numbers in the box, right? For, for Alvas to, because as I said, he was in the box, you know, tighter to the, the center box, right? For him to have been effective on that particular play, given his, his, his position on that particular play, it would have had to have been a poor cross. In that sense, Damian Lowe was literally right behind him. And my thing is that, you see the man, like the player was, because what happened? Something that they had tried to delay, because he was he was zonal marking, right? Um, Burke was zonal marking the two wide players that were doubling up on him, right? And then the Costa Rican, when Burke finally sets a bomb and make the move to the, the player on the ball, right? He sets a bomb and him played to the, the, the fullback, making the overlapping run, right? Now, for like a good literally 10 seconds, if like me personally sit down and me and watch that play there. And you could have seen that eventually the player was going to be sent down the, 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 the wide channel and crossing the ball. Alva stand up there literally for about a good 10 seconds and see what was about to take place and never make no move whatsoever to try and assist to, 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 to counter the 2v1 situation and make it 2v2 instead of 2v1 and also to close down the cross, the, the eventual cross that was about to come. Because literally the play, because as I said, Burke was zonal marking, right? So him, he was just basically delaying the inevitable. Right, but him couldn't, him couldn't, you know, stop it because of him alone. Eventually, he was gonna have to set the bomb and, and close down the player with the ball. Right, Alvas never do nothing. Alvas never go out there for trying to assist with the play. Right, there are a number of, of other players. May I tell you, coach Alvas was from a positioning standpoint in the Costa Rica game, defensive. Um, from a defensive standpoint, Alvas was poor man. Just because. The Costa Ricans never take advantage of it, man. Honestly, even going forward. So, 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 formula. Mm. If you say you're poor and the um, Costa Ricans never take advantage of it. Um, when you look at, I am making the comparison between Alvas game in Mexico. That game for me was below par. It was a horrible game for him. And the stats did prove that. This game in, in, in Costa Rica, I had challenges with his defensive work. But you have top defenders get turned inside out. You have top defenders show football um, attacking players, them, them strong side. Or it is a guile from the attacking players that would allow them to show them that area. Yeah? But what I'm saying is that Alvas had a better game against Costa Rica. Even though, if, 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 even if it's a weaker team, he still improved. He still played better against them. You know what I mean? In what sense? From a defensive standpoint? No. You have the same have defensive, defensive deficiencies. Oh, you mean going forward? He broke up a few plays, of course. He win some aerial do- some ground duels, of course. You know what I mean? The situation is that I had a challenge with is that all of us turn over the ball 20 times in the game. I think that is too much. I mean, too much. 
All right, all right. So, so what what are the what are the requirements for a, a, a full back in a game? It de- not 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 it, requirement formula. It depending on what the coach needs. The coach, needs I know. It, all right. What, no, what, the what, coach can the coach can tell you that you're playing as far as the half line. Yes, I, yeah. And the coach can tell you you have to be mid third, so you're the between half line and and the penalty box or. Because I am attacking pros, you more you tear down the line. Mm-hmm. So depending on what your ability and, yeah. and what the coach wants out of the play. For me, I thought the coach, based on what I have seen and the stats, it proves to me that Coach Whitmore was attacking down the left and the right hand side of Costa Rica. Because I remember I did the, the, the pre the pre game, and I saw those as the weaknesses of the Costa Rican um um game also it could be as a result of the jump pack midfield of costa rica employ so you you utilize the flank you understand so i saw those those tactics came out in the game based on my analysis he wasn't wasn't all that good but he was Mm -hmm. better than the game he played in mexico and and that, that that's kind of fear. I understand why why you would arrive at that conclusion, but I kind of ask that question wrong still, mm-hmm. right? In terms of let, let me try and phrase it a, a correct way because you're absolutely right when you talk about roles and functions, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what what are the what what makes a good fullback? Th- that's more the question I should. What 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 are the the, the varying elements to a fullback's game that makes a, a, a good fullback and that's 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 the question you're right for the say it's a it's a it's a picture perfect question because they are they are they are they are, you're looking at able to dribble the ball able to read the play able to to contest aerial duels yeah um you, you you should be strong you should be fit you're able to 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 depending on the role to go up and down the, 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 the flank depending on the type that you are um i think your football in iq should be at least over 80 percent so i it, it tie it ties in with your whole attacking pros and a defensive section it should be balanced in that aspect as well but there are many more things that can that 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 other people look for in a fullback. Yeah. So I mean, so all right. Could you could you do me a favor, please, coach, and bring up back Alva stats on the screen, please, if you could, if you could. Is it starts for the Costa Rica game? The Costa Rica game. Mm-hmm. All right. What 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 formula? Um, you have different type of fullback. Yeah, man, you know, I know that. Yeah, you have, you, you have the modern day fullback, right? That plays in, in, in a back tree. So he's basically oh, oh. Have, have the attacking role, right? Mm-hmm. You, have the, you, have, you have the auto no fullback who will do his defensive duty and attacking duty. So, mm-hmm. um, certain, certain attribute, right? Because uh, for, for somebody who, who is a player as, as a left back, right? I could defend, but my strongest trait was attacking. So I'm, I'm mostly playing as a winger. So at that time, but what, what we had, we had a team set up with two defensive midfielder. So whenever I go forward, that guy was was fit in in, in, in in that spot. But I'm always coming back still. But so, um, when I talk about a out and out fullback right now, um, you, you, if you look in real football, you 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 can go out and and judge. Um, the out and out fullbacks are, are, are playing out. And most of them either they're strong attacking or are they're, they're strong defensively. Defense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, they, right, if, if, if you look at if, even in the English team, English setup right now, Alexander. I think um the, I think the most complete one with the most complete um one will be two will be um the older one, Trippy and, 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 and Walker. Trent mm-hmm. is a liability defending, right? True. Um Reese Reese is, is a little bit better than Trent, but from a defensive standpoint, Wamba Saka will be the best out of all of them, but he's weak yeah. offensively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so as I said to, 
to get the complete one, um, I think it would be um, Kyle Walker. He's good attacking and he's good defensively as well. So they, 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 they come with different attributes so because um, you have wingers turning, turning, turning wing backs. So they, 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 they tend to attack a lot more than, than, than defending. So it, it's all about how the coach set up the team. And so when, when you have the players, it's how you take them and, uh, and blend them together. Because if, if, if uh, for instance, no, if we get a Max Eretz to play for us, if he get up tomorrow and say, hey, I'm going to represent Jamaica. We are going to have the same Alva Spoil situation, same way. Mm-hmm. With him. We're going to have it the same way. And if you get a Kaiwaka Peters tomorrow. Offensively than a Alvas? Yes, but at the same time, Depends, I'm he's, have problems, I'll, he's not the strongest defensively. Mm. Right? If you have a Kaiwaka Peters, though, you have a sturdy defense there, but the attacking threat, he attacks, but he doesn't give you that attacking purse that you want, that a Max Evans will give you. Right, these players are, are, are a big step up to Alvas, basically. So, uh, as, as I said, to, 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 to get the, the right one and to, to have him fit in the team. So, as I said, I think the coach have, have a lot to do. Um, we, we've been mentioning um, Javain Brown. I think the height this guy has, has reached right now, as we said, when somebody, uh, the, the, the guy that, um, as a Vancouver man said before, they love him in Vancouver. I was talking to somebody yesterday and he was like, Bruno Gaspar, remember Bruno Gaspar is a player who comes up to the Portuguese system and Javain keep on putting this guy on the bench, right? And we are talking about a quality right back, a guy who came through um, Paco and uh, was in the Benfica, Benfica U system, they are sporting this man, right? sporting Braga, these are the teams this guy plays for. So we are talking about a quality player, 28, and a, a first year rookie is keeping him on the bench. So it shows the quality he has. Uh, they, 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 there's a lot to his game. He still need to improve, yes. But um, I think he deserves his chance. But I think Tapa Tapa gonna go by trusting Alvas. Um, he had, a, he, I think, he won one of his best showing over the Gold Cup and the qualifiers. Yes, he he, he, he was found wanted a lot of time as far as said when the guy cut in. And, but as I said, still, you 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 we, we basically know what we get from him going forward. And surprisingly, he he tried to put a couple crosses in the box he wasn't driving him driving him in, in, in the box as he as he usually does because he's not somebody who's spread the ball good he's somebody who does keep the ball into the box so most of his crosses they are coming at high speed who he's that? not a person Alvas, when he's crossing oh, the ball oh. he he's, he doesn't cross he keep them in so they, 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 like somebody when they say you, you, you drive the ball in the box that's what Alvas does when it's coming on the ground, I was coming in here. Somebody who's driving, so like taxi who squares the ball, taxi will chip it, but Alvas doesn't give you that that luxury. He's the person who put the ball in place. But I says it, it was an improved performance from him. Um, I think he was 50 50 offenses and, uh, and defense. If you compare to how you look in the Mexico game and how you look in the Gold Cup, this was an improved performance. So, as I said, we have to just give him as a, 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 for me, I said, if he's playing regular, you get the best out of him. If he's not playing regular, you won't get it from him. But I, I mean, what? As I said, man, I, I, I per, look. He, yes, to be fair, he had an improved game in the in the Costa Rica game, right? But my thing is, I wouldn't say Alvas was good going forward, and I definitely wouldn't say he was good defensively. So it it was a it was a more it was a more improved performance, but it, oh, it, it look coming at the from the floor. <laughs> look at the stats. Hmm. Would you say that you would be he, he, he would have had a quote unquote decent um defensive game rather than attacking? I mean, ground duels. Um. Four interceptions, three tackles. When it comes to long ball, two from seven. And um, none from two crosses accurate. So attacking, he, was, he wasn't that good. But yeah, I think he put in a better defensive but, shift. But, but coach, what was more impressive? How many times did he lose the ball? How many, how many times he lost possession? That was my that and I have been telling formula like that is my problem with him. Huh? He lose the ball. And could it be a case where he might try to pass the ball and he gets yeah, yeah. the ball? coach, in the Panama game, 20 minutes he lost the ball 11 times. Exactly. So he might have so a defensive there. Yes, yeah, so it, 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 as I said, it, it was it was improved. 
he's trying to do stuff. But if you compare how, how he looked in the Panama game, he came on, he was just attacking, trying to pass the ball, and he was losing it. But that's the thing, Marlon, he, I mean, from, from the Mexico game and the Panama game, right? He is coming, it's such a low bar, right? So, yes, he improved, right? But still, we can't make it look like he was good in the Costa Rica game. He was not, he's a low, he's a low, low, low bar that was set with both the Mexican performance and the the the. the the, the Panama performance. So yes, there was some improvement, guys. But we can't, like me, we can't make it look as if he had a good game in the Costa Rican game. In my humble opinion, from the eye test and also from the stats, I don't think he was particularly good in the Costa Rican game. All right, thank you. Welcome, Marlon. Um, I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm going to go on vacation. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> another vacation. I mean, it was a way, it was some place. Sometimes you see a man I, missing up and like a missing you, the ball, a car call from in a dark. You know, not with him there now. Missing a bar in the island. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm not making any assumptions, but good family, wherever you were. Well, come on. So, coach, I see you showing other things. That's where is an interesting story. My two CMs, Speedy and Grant, lost the ball 14 times. My two CMs, by the way. Together, together right? Yes, combined. Yeah. Um, Speedy five, Grant nine. My right center back <laughs> and my right back lost the ball 40 times. Let that sink into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my man. two right defenders. These are defenders now, you know. So I get mostly five yard pass. What about long pass? He said it was two of seven. So subtract the seven. His passing percentage was about 64%. Mm -hmm. He lost the ball 20 times. The man beside him lost the ball also 20 times. That's a lot of turnovers for players who are not making 40 yard passes. Mm -hmm. but, but, but cranky, even when you compare the left back and the left center back, they, la they lost the position less, less time than, than both of them. But that's my point. The two right players lost the ball more than the two CMs. In fact, one of them, each of them, lost it almost twice as much as the two CM. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it's more than twice, actually, for the two yeah, CM, definitely. they lost it, right? And I believe anything to make a pick going forward, somebody needs to mute their, mute their mic, please. They're not speaking. Speedy has to beat any team going forward. It's not disputable. If we get somebody better, that's fine. But Speedy... And or Grant, or both of them, need to be in the team going forward. If you get Stewart in and he's better than both, then you put him in the team. But to have a balanced team, you need your two CMs in the team. We don't, we don't press enough. I hear Speed and what's the, what Bailey's person's name? Wait, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Talking yeah, about Butler, Butler, Craig. Butler, talking about how athletic we are and we are dominant athletically. Yeah, maybe in track and field, not on the football field. Because in the football field, when have you seen us press with vigor, with malice, like Mexican Panama pressed us? And if you lose the ball 40 times with a team not pressing you, that's a concern. That's a major concern. So if you lost the ball 20 times against Panama, I could have some empathy with you because you are being pressured 24-7. And against Mexico, you don't have room to even breathe. A team that's backing off you, and you lose the ball 20 times, that means you have six something touches. It's crazy that you lost the ball so many times. And every time you well, lose the ball, that means the, the opponent. Huh? Thank you. A yeah. comparison, do you know? Um, Costa Rica lost the ball 133 times. We lost it 132. So both of them are good. They weren't much better than us, you know? <laughs> no, but, but, but coach, I've been saying this from day one, and people are pushing back and saying X, Y, Z. And I'm saying the Costa Rica team that we played, and Katarak was disingenuous yesterday. Okay, the said the no, average is about 20. Wait, wait. He said the average is about 28. He didn't say the average starting level was 20. Um, it's very interesting when people use data and how they manipulate data and manage data. I would like to know the, the age of the Costa Rican team that started the game. Because Ruiz alone will bring your average down. Ruiz is about, what, 36? 
He's going to bring you average down by quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. And he was right. probably their best player. He was over 30, Kanki. Six of yeah. the start of the was over 30. But Keterat manipulated the data to basically say the average age of the team that started was about 28, whatever it is, because it's fit its purpose. And I wish he was here to be called out so, because he didn't right, say the starting right. 11. He used, manipulated the information to satisfy his needs. So wherever you are, are you on every single, I know what program you're coming back from now, because every time I, on, on YouTube, you pop up on IMAX, on Formula, on Manning's Man, everywhere there. You're coming like Hawaii, you know what we're calling people there. Eh? Not gonna use the word because it's a bad word, but you know what the people there? Eh? They're everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. As if you squeeze them head, I you know what um, I can write them when it comes to, to um, programs like these. But, but I will say this, which is look, we played well against Costa Rica. We should have won the game without a doubt. But I think we all agree that the Costa Rican team that we played is not the same Costa Rican team we have played in the past. They're much older, they have replenished their, their players, and they're gonna struggle going forward because I'm not seeing the same youth with the same capability coming forward. So if you think three, four, the next World Cup, they may struggle to put a great, a good team on the field as they have in the past. Um, we have some challenges though, coach, because the whole English local is back with a, yeah. with a vengeance and the results didn't help with that challenge. But um, here's what here's what I I I, I observe by analyzing the, the data. If we turn over the ball so very often in the games that we play, and we have limited possession, if in if not most all of the games, that in in itself is a crisis. We can't hold on to the ball by turning it over. So that makes our, our percentage possession as low as ever in every game we play. So it's like we're just making up numbers on the field, wanting of a better term. I don't want to press so hard, but it, it, it seems as if that is what is happening on the field of play. And it is something that needs to be addressed going forward. I don't know who is responsible for the whole statistics of the team. Numbers are important. They have a famous saying that numbers don't lie. And as a statistician, you have to use numbers as a coach. You have to work through the numbers once they are available. You have to work through it in order to improve the team. Because this is critical for a team to always turn over the ball, which causes us to have a low percentage position. Many will say, like Jose Marino, you don't need your, your, your position doesn't win the ball game. We know that. But there's another theorist that will say, if you don't have the ball, what are you going to do? If you're trying to chase the ball at all times, you become a chaser. <laughs> So basically, I think these things need to be addressed going forward. We, we, we turn over the ball too much, man. Turn over the ball too much. Well, well Coach, a, a quick thing. You know that from the Gold Cup, if you're averaging it, we lose the ball around 138 times to the teams. That, 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 from the Suriname game, from the straight to the US game. So it, 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 it has become a norm. It has become a norm using the ball. Because if, if, if you... I'm hearing a feedback. Um, if, 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 if you want to compete with the best teams, you, you have to try to lose the ball somewhere between 110 or in the 90s. Right? If, if, if you're going to be there with, it, with, with, with the top team. As, 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 as Frankie said earlier, I, I, I think the Costa Rican team, yes, um, I don't think they're the best. I think right now, I think we and them are basically at the lower end or, or, in, in the top eight. For me, I think um, Mexico is a superior. Canada, Panama, and uh, US will be the fourth. We are fighting with Honduras and El Salvador and Costa Rica to, 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 to get up in, in, in that top four right now. But coach, just to, just to, to, um, to add to something that you just said, it's not even like we play the game, you know, to deliberately concede possession 
And I think that's also another worrying thing, you know. I, I don't think the, the, the setup is intended to concede possession. I think we, 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 we try to maintain possession, but we just can't. Uh, we just, you know, we don't do as good a job as we should do maintaining possession. Another thing, another thing, Stan, there were six, six of the starting 11 were over 30. And three, there were three other players in the starting 11 that were 29, almost 30. <laughs> so how the average of 28? No, So nine, three over 30, so them, them about five. They're at about five year old to get to that average of 28. I mean, they have to be about five or six. Let me see. And to, uh, yeah, about, about five or six, yeah. Let me ask a question. Let me do the calculation. Let me do the calculation. Let me come back to your family. Let me ask a question, Marlon, because formula just made an important point now. Is a setup that is causing the, 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 the lack of retaining possession. But when we have a double pivot, Marlon, what is the purpose of the double double pivot? Well, Why do we I, employ that strategy? Basically, I if if if, if you're looking at the the, the, the modern day teams, um, as 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 a, as a post, England use the same the the, the the four two three three one formation that we that we employ, right? Um, what it does, it gives you security on the team. So you're basically if I like, like, like how England use they use two CDM, right? But one of them um role is basically to be a box to box. So you 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 basically find in Declan Rice being the man who stay at home and Cammy Phillips be that one to be attack and defense. So mm -hmm. what 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 if, if even even the Jamaica game right you saw that Grant was involved in attack and he basically um I think he was more involved in attack more than speedy because most of the time, um, Grant, Grant, Grant was giving support to Taxi when Taxi was was bombing up that, that, that left bank. He was there as as, as an ex um, entity for him to pass the ball to. So, the the, the, the the double pivot it give you security there. So it is basically you're using a box to box and an auto no CDM. So you have a man who can be a destroyer and your box to box can can, can play the ball around. So if if, if, if you look at all man you play today, um, you have um, Matic. As the Otano Stadium and Pogba had the free road to move forward. So I, I, that formation, a double pivot, give you a, a sense of security. When you use a single pivot now, it, as, as Cataract said the other day, when, when I set the team up, he said I, I was, I was going to end in Grand Carrier if, 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 if I use, um, use Maggie and, and Peter Lee in front of him. The, 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 the single pivot now, you're, you're thinking about to go, to go more expansive because you're going to have one person there to be the security for, 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 the, for, for the defense. And if, if he's gonna help in attack as well, it's more pressure on him. So you have to be very, very disciplined. So, so sometimes when you have a single pivot, you 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 can be less disciplined, and you, you you're much safer. But when you play a single pivot, no, the the the, the, the dependency and, and the person who's playing that position, he has more pressure than, than him, because he have the back he have the back four to protect as well. And if the wing back is bombing forward, he he can speak in that spot to, to make coverage on the centre back, step in his position. Yeah, but Marlon, when you use a single pivot, you know the other two midfielders normally also are defensive minded. Think about Man City, for example, they're going to De Bruyne or somebody playing on the right or on the left. They also have defensive capabilities. You can't do it with two people who wanna play, none of them wanna play defense. So you couldn't have like a Ravel to me. Well, maybe you can play Ravel again between besides um Speedy or beside Grant. But you can't have a Peter Lee, for example, and a McGee playing, because then is there any in defensive tendency in either of those players? No, I know, no, man. I, 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 was, I was just saying we're gonna go expansive to to, 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 to to get them off their game. So Cataract will say that uh, I was I was finishing um grand career. Oh, okay. No, I, I, I was I was just giving that example still. I thought it was finished for the last game he played, but I, I maybe he's coming back. I don't know. So my dad, um, yeah, man, Cataract. Yeah, oh, he's sorry, reggae boys, firm ultra. Yeah, man. Even, even. Oh, otherwise known as manipulator. But go on, manipulator. Go on, manipulate stats. <laughs> <laughs> um, some people have no shame. Exactly. I agree with you. <laughs> I agree with you. Uh, but, but a I mute agree of, with a you. Mute, a mute of mic would be nice now. So, since you help us. So, um, Marlon, I did say that to you because um, for his career, 
Grant has played in the two defensive midfield, what you call double pivot system. Um, that's what he grew up in. Um, made famous in part by Jose Mourinho. Um, you know, I think he had Matic and he had some other things. But when you have a single pivot, you know, you can have a thing. It's I mean a single CDM, which allows you one more midfielder in the attack. Um, and if you thought of when Man City was doing it, Yaya Torre used to drive forward. You had that driving box to box defender when it started. But who plays single pivot in other words? Barcelona. You had Sergio Busquet, Bayern Munich, and Philip Lam. You know what I mean? These are these are great defensive midfielders. And as Grant is a good defensive midfielder, I've never said to you that Grant is a great defensive midfielder. He's a good defensive midfielder, better than what we had on at our options. But to give him a role to be as a single man, that's, that would be suicidal. Um, we could try it if you if you if you had if we got our hands on one of the younger ones like maybe Reese Oxford or somebody like that. Um, I don't even think Kevin Short could manage it to to be honest with you. He plays he plays in a two. Um had a good game today, by the way. I mean statistical wise, I didn't see the I didn't see the game, but I, I, I read the report on Sky Sports News. Um had a good game. Had an assist as well. So let me know what the argument is right now. Coach, I, I, I really just listened and I am waiting for when we get to the main thing, which is can we even afford to finish the work of qualifying? Um, but somebody was saying about playing the game outside Jamaica, and I'm one. I mean, everybody, including myself, is looking to Florida, maybe New York, um, large Jamaican populations, maybe able to fill out a stadium, probably cheaper to rent a stadium in um, Florida rather than to rent a stadium in New York. Um, although we did a stadium in New York and ran out the whole stadium, if we recall. Um, was it MetLife or one of those? I can't remember which one, but it ran out the stadium in a friendly match. Um, but I'm thinking London because it, 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 it's the same cost. Because instead of flying the, the 15 or 8 players to Jamaica, you just fly the balance of the team to London. Um, Get a careful member, the 18 official, to you know. Pardon me? No, I just said, I, 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 I mean. Yo, remember the delegation, you know? The dollars for the 18 yeah, delegation. Yeah, 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 but, but maybe them can't have a card. But Keterak, what about the opponent? It's not like everybody have players in England. No, 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 but the opponent, the, the opponent now have no choice in where you choose to host the game. No, no, no. But, you'd have to think, does CONCACAF would allow you to go bring games I, to England? I don't know. I don't know. I'm okay. the, right now, I'm saying I, I would know. think though. I would think though, Qatar, but um, that they England, would want. Sorry to cut you, but I, I would think even if we're going to try and change our home games, I think they're limited to Concacaf region. I don't know. That's what I, I don't want I'm, to I'm thinking uh, along that lines because you would want to take the teams outside of the region. Well, uh, England well, course, or Spain. Course, what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. I don't know. None of us here knows. So the powers that be in the JFF have to decide that I'm just giving an alternative. Uh, let me see. If it is permissible by CONCACAF and FIFA, then having the game in London, where we have a number of players in England and in Europe, Bozo, um, some guys from uh, Turbac from Sweden, don't know if he's making the plane again. We have guys in Malta. Slovenia, Arbo. It may be something to consider. England has a large Jamaican population and you may fill a stadium. You actually have two stadia in which you have, but one is not really. I wouldn't go to Sheffield Wednesday. I wouldn't go to Sheffield with the game. But um, you have Darren Moore who would be sympathetic and you have um, Queen's Park Rangers. Um, Paul Hall's home people. So um, we have played a QPR before. We have played internationals at QPR before. 
Um, you have West Bromwich. We have played at West Bromwich, and West Bromwich is very sympathetic to Jamaica. Um, rest in peace, Cyril Regis, who you know is my neighbor in, Bur in Sutton Coldfield in Birmingham. Um, but West Brom has always been um, a friend of Jamaica. If you have played at West Brom, you had cordial relations. Uh, Dion Burton is on the 23 coach. I don't know. This situation, right, we found ourselves, this situation we have found ourselves in is unprecedented. And in some instances, you have to think outside the box. And you can't just think inside the box at the knee jerk. All right. So we're, thinking, we're talking about the JFF here. So you're probably stretching it when you name all them places and all them ideas and stuff. Um, so according to Mr. Speed, who said it publicly, that consideration was playing game in Florida and also in the New York area. So the, it, those two um, areas were being considered, even for the last round here. So it's a possibility if it comes to it, those are two. So, so let me say to you, the USL continues. See, this is why I want to start about GFF. I have a bread for 115, so we yeah, are not going to ever beat you. But you know that the USL continues playing during the international break. It doesn't stop. And therefore, the stadium like Miami's FC Stadium would be in use. The English Championship and Premier League are on a break during international break. Um, I don't know about the MLS because the last time we were playing World Cup MLS, it's still a go on and all kind of foolishness. I don't know if those stadiums are available. So, and the cost of renting a venue in like the Met, like the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, I told that the, 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 the ball finished. The Hard Rock Stadium in Miami is a, is a, is a hefty bill right um i know the david beckham stadium um i know you talk to miami fc because you have three jamaican there. i don't know um but miami is in the true florida is in the throes of a um covid thing but let's win the jff i do i don't even know what they're gonna do next year here the game up playing in japan if you, if you follow them I, I i i i tend to agree with drano they, i don't think they'll make the stretch to, to england like i said before they haven't thought about it i heard the argument of of in the u.s tri-state area or miami but again would concacoff allow them to go outside of the region that's that's my so, only con so, contention so, so, so here, here we go so i am so i am so hold on i am sure sports i do not know the schedule for the Miami Stadium. I don't. I am saying that today, the 11th of September, with about three weeks to go, the hierarchy of the GFF should be able to say something to the fans. You don't wait until the last minute. If you envision, that, that's how you plan, you forecast, uh, stand on them big words, that's all, um, in accounting and finance. You forecast. So you should be able to know that, listen, the rate at which Jamaica is going, it probably will be. So we're going to wait until the day before you end up on the red list. When um, Canada book all the tickets to come to Jamaica to tell them, say, I moved the match on, on New York. They don't, don't operate like that. So would they get the leniency? I understand what I say, but again, we have to look at all angles. Would they get the leniency because of what state the world is in with this pandemic yeah but if the government of jamaica ban all flights into jamaica it did well, it did do so yeah if, but we're looking at the time in you know qatar yeah we're but if the, the timing. government of jamaica can wake up on sunday and do the prime minister can do a press and say listen all flights are banned from the uk us blah 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 and then you problem it has been done before. Last year, there were no flights for three, four months. So it's not, it's not something impossible. But, you know, um, the, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Ja. I mean, it's not a man on YouTube supposed to be making 
these thoughts. These options are supposed to be discussed. You're supposed to have a regular um, press briefings and stuff with, 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 your, with your fans, with the stakeholders. Let me call them stakeholders. So we are in the dark. They, they don't consider. Do they, con, do they consider that? Let us be keep, real. Keep in mind, so they, they, they watch the programs, you know, so you never know who's listening and getting the ideas from us. They, they will get the idea and come and make a thing and make it look like a film, you know. So the, uh, for them exactly. Style, so you never know. Just put style, it out there, you know. Them, but I'm saying that the fact that we are discussing it on September 11th means that the people who are responsible for for a risk plan, a disaster plan, a risk plan, the JFF should have one, means they do not have one. Because they should have a plan in case riots break out in Jamaica, like it did in a 2001, the gas riots, what, what is the plan? You, you, have, you must have a risk plan. You're running a, big, you're running a major organization, brother. Unless the plan is to forfeit the work up. So, so Devon is saying that can't so, come 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 accomplishments. Yeah. <laughs> um, come I mean, come, Devon, come on, let, then. let me read this comment before we Um, Devon said Concacaf will not allow that playing a Concacaf World Cup game, World Cup qualifier outside Jamaica, not don't own England. Yeah, man, go ahead, Formula. No, I was just saying that common sense will tell you that they must have some sort of a contingency plan in place. Mm -hmm. You guys hear me clearly, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, common yeah, sense will I tell you that. Clearly, they I must... hear the cricket them too. Everything I come to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. That good, man, that good. Yeah, yeah. So common sense to tell you that you know they must have some sort of a contingency plan in place. I mean, no one could run an organization right <laughs> with a stand <laughs> right with a massive program like the, the World Cup qualifiers, right? And not have contingency plans in place. Not even the JFF can be so, you know. It, could they so, be that incompetent? <laughs> so, Formula, what happened? Wherever you went to, they actually purged your brain of everything that we have said in this program in the past. And now you've come back with your brain totally cleaned out and you have no memory of what has transpired over these last months we've been talking. I'm talking about the gym. That's what I'm like. They're like, what is Formula talking about? You have conversation on your own program, another program. And you're saying they could never not have contingency plans and they're very thoughtful in how they think about no the jff wing it then it's what neil posted here then brock people think this is a joke thing you know cataract mentioned before you may not be able to complete the world cup qualifying campaign yeah because you don't have resources when it says that it said their account state that continuation is in doubt it's an account what they call you can't be a going concern that means if you have no money you're broke your close-up shop but well, i'm not sure if you would allow the close-up shop but the question is, where are they going to get the funding and all these proposals about going to Miami or New York as if you got to rent stadium? Do you have collateral to allow you to rent people's stadium because you ain't got no money to pay them? How are you going to pay them? You don't promote your products. You're going to generate revenues from gate receipts or television revenues. You're in a conundrum. You're not going anywhere. And so I don't. we'll see what happens, but I'm not optimistic about how this is going because they haven't done a good job so far and it only gets worse every day. As per FIFA rule, if the host requests a change, the written approval of the opposing team must be obtained at least 30 days before the match. Ah, that but, is mercy. But See, will, no coach. will, 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 stop that? 30 days gone. So move on to the next topic. 30 <laughs> days gone. 30 days gone. <laughs> So that's what I was saying. If if they will get a leniency but, in in, but, in COVID situation, yeah, they, they must be given the, the, mm -hmm. the current circumstances that yeah. we're we're experiencing right now with COVID. They must have some leniency if mm -hmm. anything was to pop up. Of course, of course, must. Of course. Man, they just expect to see another incredible people for that song. Another empty stadium. We have to have leniency. We have jumpy. 
You know, see, Argentinian people, I rush them, I rush them, I arrest them, and then they run around like they don't want to go to jail and get deported. Yeah, people, the people have business about football. People so, are dealing with world health. Oh, oh the, it, what we just read is the COVID rule, so no leniency. No leniency, brother. Mm. No leniency. And the thing of a leniency. Oh, yeah. It says straight tensey. Yes, yeah, straight tensey. If you have a straight plan. <laughs> Because obviously, it's the, the, they would have to know to acclimatize, they would have to book their hotels, they would have to come. And one day before you venue, you think they run Robin or uh, Fish Fry? Where is the venue to be announced? And they said the GFF thing, no? Fish Fry? Marlon, I laugh. The whole life party, they may keep now. It, it's a venue to be announced. TBA. And they said the GFF, I put their whole game. TBA. <coughs> Mute them, mute them. And and you know you know what you know when when coach said that um that was actually the COVID rule. You know it's very worrying about that. From my understanding of it, they 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 even even down to all the, 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 the venues, right, needs um needs to pass certain criteria. Yeah, but people would have had to, you'd you, you have to, hold on, if you go to a stadium like um, Red Bull Arena or the Hard Rock um, Stadium or where Inter Miami play or where Fort Lauderdale play, those have been approved by people already because they, 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 they the Olympic, the, we call it again, the Explorer Stadium in Orlando, that would have been like approved by FIFA already and CONCACAF, sorry, approved by CONCACAF already for competition. So you'd have to go to a venue that is already approved. It's a, it's a very worrying situation. Right now, we, 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 we don't know what is happening. Um, I just come from listening to um, Reggae Boys commentary, Simon Preston's program about the youth then in a quarantine. Right now, it, it looks like you have to pay your own way to play for Jamaica. Are they say it's English? Are they sort of thing rich? Man, if you read the literature book about the man that was stranded on the island. Actually, the man stranded when we go. Nobody had communicated with them. So, uh, it, it, uh, it, it, it is, it is, it is. So, them just left, left them on, 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 on them the on them one. Them on battle for, for, for whatever. I mean, where do you expect to have them are belly money? Where do you expect? People, yeah, Tara. good night and good evening. Yeah, man. Big up, bro. Big up. So, Katara, so, explain to the people who are coming I'm never left on the program. Now. So, um, the player that will play today, explain to the people that were asked how them get to play if they represent Jamaica and then they to sit out the level weekend. That wasn't the thing. It was if they play in, in, our, a, in our regular country. Yeah. Then, then we'd have to be quarantined for the 10 day people. And that's the reason they did not go to Mexico and they did not go to Costa Rica. Because right. they did not want to go through that quarantine. If I may put in a two cents about what you guys are talking about, the, the um, home game and stuff with the JFF. The World Health Organization declared COVID a pandemic in a January 2020. Which means that we, as a people, the entire world has been struggling with this virus for over a year now. I said that to say this. If fast forward to September 2021 and the JFF does not have a contingency plan to provide themselves a stadium, if Jamaica were to be considered not eligible to play a game in the country, then there is nothing we here as YouTubers can do to save them. As at the end of the day, these men would be absolutely incompetent if they can if they have not yet come up with a a contingency plan, a backup. We all have been struggling through this. Who here didn't know that this was coming? And if we here, oh. I sit here and 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 brainstorm different ways we can save the JFF and 
and hopefully someone is watching so they can take our ideas and go fix it the man shouldn't be in the job point black and period carry on so so roll me all right on this occasion i cannot i cannot i cannot help but say it i just shot i just i just wondered what next is the news let me just i wonder what next i i, I, I don't know me i wonder what it is you know how far my mind reach from me just takes a boy you know when the news just keep coming wave after wave of bad news right the next thing i'm looking at i don't know is that the next time the player then come you got here say jff official all of our rap some player in that hotel and take away the car and the money take away Antonio black car i can't i don't know where, where we're going where are we going You, 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 I, I, I heard, I, I, I read Cristiano Ronaldo jersey, a hundred and eighty-five million pounds, not dollars, pounds of jersey sold in eleven days between his signing and his where can I take it now? His debut, second debut, right? The return. 187, 85 million. It hasn't been 11 days. I'm only exposed him number like last Tuesday. No, man. When him and start selling jersey, no, him man. start Tuesday. They were pre-orders, man. We are talking about Rome. I thought like you know, notice something better. From the day that him signed, which is deadline day, the day before deadline day, when he did the medical, they were pre-orders for his jersey. And up to today, they say 185 million. And it had before match day. Right? No, Mikel Antonio, we know basically called sign for the reggae boys. Right? Said that he's coming more than two months now. Yeah, tell me, say, the excitement that the whole Jamaican population, home and abroad, all the Rasta band in Italy, we are born then, chill them and say them are Jamaican. The Japanese in China, in a Japan, sorry, where, where, where 60, 70 pounds of them, they are Japan, flash and I said they are Jamaican. And the little girl, them blonde ear girl, them in a Sweden and 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 Denmark, where a dancer and said them a dancer, a dancer. You tell me, say we couldn't sell a million pound worth of Michael Antonio jersey, just like so. One, 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 one hundred. One, one, one hundred. No, I thought we had the conversation that Jamaica now get the JFF now get none of the money. No man, the biggest sponsor is Umbro. But even if you get ten dollar or time million dollars, even if you are get ten dollar ten cents on the dollar, even if you are getting I am not getting, if you're getting ten or twenty cents on the dollar, it's still money. We are up, you know you know may I watch today? May I watch the um the, the, the way you call it the IOC? The the, the um mm. Olympic Federation uh, investigate Nigeria. Because man have one jersey. They give the man every train and the man have wash him jersey to go back and compete the next day. And the sponsor come in and say, eh, 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 eh. we have given him the where the jersey them then. Why no names on the jerseys? So you can't have no fall in love with the player and watch your favorite player team because you don't know who are wearing tomorrow and wash our wear. I can't work, bad man. I mean, 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 I why is there nobody? Then, no, me not, me not work around, me not work. Hey, me not yeah, work around. Me not 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 work around. I remember basically I tell him and say, boy, I can't give a jersey. Right now, if you want to get a Jamaican player, 
any any over any opposition team. Just ask a man about your exchange jersey. I think I want to back out in ratchet for you. If you do it in Nag, if you do it in Nag, I have no jersey. Be next game. I say I put in my name away. Hello, hello. Listen, you know why I'm gonna believe that? Well, I know you know why I'm gonna believe that because. How are you cheese sticks? Milton, the cheese sticks. A room, a room. Hey, you know why I'm gonna believe that? Michael Antonio one thick brother and a number 17 in where Damian Lowe is one slim brother. So how oh, come if you be CM Jersey man I'm gonna wash away? Me not agree with that. Mr. Tap on the phone. 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 So yo. Me, yo, well, I can just get that. Just get that. Me not support that part of the coach. Me not support him. Me not support that part of the coach. No, the man, the man, the man. I DM me and load in. I stand and vex. I just show the man. I have an impupi in here, sir. No, no, no. Me not agree with that. A room with drawer. All these supporters have to be from which drawer. A room that has to be drawer. The fact is that there is not so we cannot get our hands on the jersey. We don't see players have their name and number on the jersey. We don't we, we have a 35 man squad, it should have number one to 35 or whatever number they play want if a man wants well, because they are going to change players each 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 no, each well, you give a man a number you give a man a number when him join in the programs so, or you do or you do marketing and merchandising but they are not doing that so that's why they're not doing it yeah but you are correct <laughs> and we are speaking about why they don't have any funds it, it the thing is dire it is it, it is that i don't know if it's unfolding before your eyes you know right now the way the marketing manager and yes, I mustn't be that the way the market manager are deal with the marketing are all Javon East deal with the goal scoring the two of them are the same levels I think but differently still enough they agree with her Katarika say in terms of the marketing is poor but only nobody have spread no propaganda about no man we're not feed I can't no, no, I don't know I did not say that and I will not say that I'm simply saying <laughs> On the top of English. You, when you bring a player in, he gets a number. Otherwise, you have to negotiate with another player to give up that number. Because Ian Goodson had number five from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Then different man come in and get number. That's how you build a brand and you build a cult movement and, and you sell jersey. <laughs> if if anybody net. If 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 them are weird that that means said they then do have no deal with Umbro. All them do go buy some jersey and give man them. That are the Coach. only logical reason we can say. Coach. So me no, me no believe Coach. yes, F Devon. Come on for that foolish system, man. <laughs> that don't make no sense, you know. They don't make no sense with you. That don't make no sense. Come on for that foolishness. And cataract. Yeah. Me blame on you know. You blame me. All I want in Jamaica, I blame everybody. I blame you. I'm so calm. And you, 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 why me, you, why me blame you? You gotta tell me, say, you don't know, say, the JFF office up at New Kingston. Drive, go up at New Kingston and knock on the door and talk to somebody and tell them, say, listen, this is where we are, I propose. They don't have a do that, this time. You're afraid of them? You're afraid of them? They don't have a do that, this time, sign on the door. I don't want to go out. I don't want to go out. I'm don't pretty much sure out. if if you if you go up, no. listen man, put on your suit and go up there and knock on the door. If the door even lock, they will let you in. <laughs> that you think. People make you something real. Your, quick. your department alone will get you in, man. Just put your suit on. The man them busy. They're not they're busy. They're busy, man. Busy, man. They're busy. They're busy. They're busy. All is at work. This is work. Everybody yeah, but coach, what them see a man in a suit come and knock on them door. You can tell me, say, them not entertain them and find out why exactly them want. So you you do that. Take my yeah, foolish I, advice and do that. And do what? I I just as what I just said. The man in the answer your call. Or an next man call. A matters of serious importance. Brother, this is not yeah, my Can job. I ask you guys something? Yeah, you're wrong. I'm coach all, right. all the way around. Let me ask you something real quick. I'm serious question. 
there is no one you guys have any insight as to why the JFF is so secretive. Why is it is it supposed to be the Jamaica Football Federation and the Jamaica Football Secret Services? I need to know if any one of you have any sort of <laughs> insight as to why these men are so secretive. What's going on inside the JFF that if you need to know something, you have to have a massive secret clearance. Hey. I need to know. Anyone of you guys have any idea why they're so secretive? I'm sure. large, are are, 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 are the they large. obligated? Are they obligated to tell us information? No, they're not obligated. Exactly. So that's why we have their secret. That's why we have their secret. The time will come. Uh, may I tell you, so listen, listen, listen to the more. Listen to the more. It's more, the more, masons. Right? It's the masons. You have to join it to know. No, but people, listen. Let us let us reason the thing. You oh, let's explore that. Hold on, the quote. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, but let's explore where this a while ago, coach. What I mean, are they obligated to tell us? It's Jam this the Jamaica Football Federation. The name now have nothing to do with what they tell us, Rome. We they are Jamaicans. The yes. country itself is we are they are they're supposed to answer to us, no? So hold on, the US go on a tone cry and say, All right, uh, the folks, this is what is going to happen. They go out in the one square and I tell you whatever. Uh, so the Jamaican football federation to do that. That is no, what there, I'm saying. There is some, hold on, there is something that is called access to information. If we want information, if we know how to access the information, they can tell us everything that we want to know. If the information is there and available, so we can't we can't beat them. So man, you know, what? Me, me try to be fair now. We can't beat them when they don't deserve to beat them. Me no believe say them to come out and I tell you everything. Everything that needs to know, their accounting information are them, what you call that fancy word. It is on the website. Their whole um operation are the, 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 the code of regulation and all of these things. They're on the website. Okay, but coach, we can look up on it and see a long coach. document. We now read it. All right, so coach, we me, me, me read, right? But um you're welcome. Uh, you can tell me what the contingency plan for the Jamaica Football Federation is, please. The guy says on there. No, it just point no, me to No, 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 Katar. Uh, you say everything that we need to know. They and I list, I listed the things. Oh, it's an exhaustive list. list. It's an exhaustive list. I listed list. the things. It's an exhaustive list. Thing. So, so I don't know. I don't. If if I were to access the access to information, I could probably find out. Yeah, so, so coach, so coach, Kater, I'd like to use analogies, um, leveraging the British construct in terms of football. I don't hear the FA come on talk about all their business. They no have structured. Per, no, no, no. Let me, Kater, I, I know you're surprised, and, and and it's good to be surprised sometimes. I see you have a shock look on your face, uh, but it's a fact. They do talk about certain things which they provide to the general public. They don't provide all the business to the general public. Their face is normally a player and Southgate, more time Southgate, who is the face of the organization. And they mainly talk about football. Now, in other forums, they want to talk about grassroots football, how to distribute money. They may do so, but it's at their own discretion about what they talk about. Right? And you can't say JFF should tell us everything. As Coach says, they have certain information they provide, such as the fact they are dead broke. I think Neo is giving you tidbits of what's in their financial statements. They are broke. If you look at the financials, how much debt they have, how much accumulated deficit they have, meaning think about you have a your, your financial assets. You make $10 and you owe $20. That means you're a net deficit of $10. That means you're broke and you should be filing for bankruptcy. Unless somebody gives you some money or you go out and source some more money, then you have challenges financially. That's what the JFF has. Now, we haven't seen their 21 financial situation. We don't know if they've had more sponsorship money. We know they don't have too many commercial money. We don't know if they have any benefactors that the government give them money or FIFA. But from what we know so far, given what they have published, they're not in a good financial situation. In fact, it's dire. And from some of the tidbits you have given us, in terms of players may not be getting certain reimbursement, it means I can't pay you if I don't have any money to pay you. So the situation may be more dire than we think it is. And I think you made a statement earlier, which I emphasize, which is, if you don't get the money, how can you finish the campaign unless CONCACAF or FIFA bail you up, right? You're going to be challenged to do so. And it can be very disruptive. You can't because it affects the entirety of the competition in terms of teams play, games you play or you didn't play. So I don't want to paint a dire scenario, but optically, that's what it seems to be. But coach is right, Ketarak. Nobody will publish 
all information about the operations in any company, public company, who have shareholders or private company, which are closely held. Nobody does that. There are certain things which they may be mandated to do, which they'll do. The other things they may, may want you to know, but then I'll give you everything. And hold these on, on this, hold, this hold, on the screen hold, hold that, on. hold on the Qatar, these on the screen that we have been putting up from what Nia has been writing, these come from the JFF website where their 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 accounting thing they put up. They they put that out. The financial um statement. It is out there for the public to see. Right. So so here's the coach. Um is that required by FIFA coach? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. They, 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 there would be some requirements from FIFA. I, mean, I don't know about I'm saying this stand is dead around. Right? And you you we born in England and we just go to catch for a decade. The FA has press conferences on a number of matters that do not have to do with the England national team's setup and this game day squad and those things which Gareth so gets run. So, for example, there is an entire committee in, in the FA that deals with racism and uh, what you call those nights were right there, um, gender balance and those things there. And they hold press conferences on their own and they update the country on the steps they are taking to fight racism. Garrett so it is not at the head of that. He may give things in support. I can't remember the gentleman um, who heads it up now, a former um, black British player. Right? There's grassroots football, which you mentioned, which they think they from time to time. There's the whole business of the... Um, when they had the things like the Killsborough disaster and the other one that happened at, at Liverpool, I think, but the Hillsborough with the, with the fans dying, they, they had to make those things public. I am not saying that I want to know who the janitor at the GFF is and how often the bathrooms are cleaned at the, at the Federation. That's not, that, that's not a concern. But well, they tell you who... The pain, they tell you the payroll, the amount of purses and the amount no, of money that is paid. Guys, I'm saying, so here's why I asked you. Roman Fitch, Roman Fitch, I'm not, we're not interested in that. We are interested in the, in the main core strategic items for which we are, which information is not forthcoming. Yes, they put up their, their financial statements. It, I, I don't know. Is it, I can't read financial statements. Let me just say I can't read financial statements. Is it an audited financial statement or is it unaudited? They're audited. Because so it's audited statements. Okay, that is very good. But but right. even if they're audited, what people need to understand, so suppose, for example, if I have expenses that you're checking, but you allow, so, so you have your, 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 your criteria that you have for what expenses are allowable. So if Cataract went and spent $100,000 and it's allowable, then the auditor will sign off on it. That's part of my problem, which is I don't know when you go and this try to discern what those expenses are mm -hmm. who is who is who is assuming those expenses are they allowed in a jff bylaws when you and i may think it's not reasonable for as rome would say 80 people to travel for example someplace i may think it's not reasonable but it may be allowed in their bylaws mm -hmm. for the very reason but it may not be reasonable mm -hmm. you may think it's outrageous for some for 18 people to go on a trip to mexico or to go to costa rica but or to go to the in, us it is allowable by but it's allowable Yes, mm -hmm. so you got to be careful when you think about it. Even if they're audited, you may have some concerns about what's in them. So I think you guys might have misconstrued the question that I was asking just a little bit. So I have no, I, I am not interested in the JFF financials. Are they financial people who are well qualified, I would say qualified, can go in and determine if this 50000 was actually spent on the team or was it labeled as the team in your system? And it's spent somewhere else. That's others people business. My question is: the reason why I ask why it is so secretive is: do you guys think, as fans, as patrons of the country and the football of the country, do you think we have a right to know whether our whether the nation's World Cup qualifiers is at risk come the next round? Do you think we have a right to know? Do you think we have a right to know whether the country, whether the JFF have a contingency plan if the if the if Jamaica's COVID situation goes red? Do you think we have a right to know? I'm not asking about the financials. I'm not asking to know how much the president make, how much them pay the janitor, how our top of salary. By the way, top of if you get fired, but between conversation. The point oh, that no. what I'm asking you is, do you think we have a right to know 
whether the JFF have a plan or should we just wait till the day before to find out, say, all right, the game now play? Is it a right or a privilege? But from, from the question you asked, I believe that the information is out there because persons were persons are aware of contingency plan being made. That's why the, probably the whole conversation came up. Because of the whole COVID situation, they are considered, we said it earlier, playing the games outside of Jamaica, Miami or the tri-state area. And, and of course, what, we, Scott, what we're saying to you is that that is unadulterated nonsense. Because you've read that they have to get approval from the other country 30 days ahead. How so, many, so, so how, are, many days, how many days before the friendly? Before, even before, before the World Cup qualifier home game against Canada. But Qatar, we don't know if that was done before. We're assuming... If it was done before, coach... And why would they the, say it? If it was done before, why wouldn't they have said? Why wouldn't Mr. Dark Glasses, um, nice Rayban say, we are playing the match at the, 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 the Hard Rock Cafe in, 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 in Miami because we have gotten the approval of Canada. He said he's going to go back and speak to the government and then determine the next step, but it's a possibility. There's no plan. But Qatar, <laughs> we're not on the red list as yet. So why should should they come out and talk about it and we're not oh, right. Right. That's not what I want to know. Yes, you could you should say you should have the fans in alert. I'm not gonna hear the formula. You should have the fans in alert to say mm -hmm. the game is scheduled for what what day? October what? 11? No, man. October 7th is USA in USA. Oh, you're talking the home game. Okay, right. yeah. The home game is October 11th, right? Mm -hmm. And we are hoping to have the game here. However, we have gotten the permission from Canada that should Jamaica go on the red list, the game will be played in X venue. Cayman Island, Bahamas, any which way you want to play the game. And it's noon. That's a simple thing. But then I know they make a deposit down from the stadium. They can just walk up and book stadium. But coach, my country, they are friends, no, no, brother. It's not a fish fire run robin. When you have a book a man stadium, a man has to employ people. I've seen where um what's the name that had the New Orleans, the sales that had the um the hurricane either. Or what was the name of the hurricane that leaked it? Right? And they were saying, oh yes. Let's go and um, move the opening game to um, University of Houston State. I said, no, we have a concert. They want to take your part out. Chetara, you expect the JFF to do that? So, so who wants to um, dream weekend? We, okay, we are not on the red weekend, list. Hold on, hold on. We are not on the red list. So technically, the game is scheduled to play in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. If and when, if and when Jamaica go on the red list, CONCACAF will have a discussion with the Jamaica Football Federation. <coughs> and they would provide a place for the game. No, but Devon, I don't, I don't, so, 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 so Kedrick, one, one second, Kedrick, right? Devon, I, I don't, I don't think, Devon, I don't think they would do it. Why would they do that? Mexico is on the red list. So with Costa Rica, their game didn't get moved. We're only talking about it because we have so many English-based players. A lot of countries don't have that same challenge. So I'm not sure why they would even consider it. I, look, Kedrick is right, right? And, you should, if and, you want to get your English-based players. And you think, and you yeah. think Canada, who we are supposed to play, in Jamaica, in an empty stadium, go and move the game to London, where some of Jamaica and there, or move well, no, the no, game no, no. to, to Devan, Miami, Devan. No, where Devan, some of Jamaica and there. Devan, you know, hold on, hold on, um, hold, hold on the, um, cranky. We have, I have <laughs> opened the line to one of our panelists, and I just because I, if you want to ask a question or make a point, quickly, yeah, man. money, man, go ahead. Yeah, man. Really appreciate because I'm listening. All right, so a couple of things I want to say is that I mean, right, and you said it, coach, there's a difference between having a right to know and being privileged to information. 
All right, so that's one thing. Number two, if, if the people say, based on what, I'm just listening to Kestara, right? Approaches were made to people in, the, in, in Miami or in New York, wherever, but they're still approaching oh. the Jamaican government. That is still, a, you may not like it, you may not think it is detailed enough, but it is a plan. In other words, we have made some arrangements, we have not finalized them because we are still approaching the government in Jamaica because maybe they will show some discretion, leniency, whatever, and we will host the match here. If that doesn't happen, we have already made an approach. We have, maybe we have put in the submission before the third days as a contingency. Now, what we can say is that we are not sure what the communication is, and that is where we need to beat them. But to say there is no contingency, and at the same time saying that approaches have been made. Something is inaccurate with that. No, it's no, my I, humble opinion. All right? So, so in a year, point, so I will be so with that. And, and, and where the stereotypical players and coaches supposed to get beaten, they're supposed to get beaten. But how um, some of the information, maybe a cataract and a room thing they need to know, here are the people who, who love the football just as much and are just as loyal. So not because we have probably 11,000 or 20,000 or 50,000 in the other 2.8 million people on or are the 200,000 people want to know. So want it to know. Don't want to know what are the details of the plan. The majority may just want to know if they can go pay not one week. If the diehard ball fans who want to know the details of everything, and I will say the Dyer Football Fund is a very small minority in the population. So, so my name is Mark. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Let, let, me, let me let me address it by asking. Let me. 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 Let I am repeating what the president said while the TVJ stuck a microphone in his face, walking along a corridor. Right? So I don't yeah, have no more, more hold, on, on, get no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, you know no, why I forget to just... Oh, to be a, forget to because I have the privilege... But you're always talking, so I he has to cut you. I he always talking. He has to cut you. Man, ask me a question. I can't find you. You get the chance. Get her. Remember, me have the privilege to cut anybody in the bad. You have the right to. You have the right to. Man is man. Man is man. Why you answer that question? I know. In the comment section, or whatever means you want to answer. Only you, man is man, say. Man is man, say. We have been. I see him to me. I'm right. You don't coach. I'm right. it down. Yeah, take what so, write it down, you know. Like in just get the injust on his spokesman. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, room. Let me give up Katarak in time. Go Katarak. <laughs> Katarak, you're muted, which is a good thing, but so, we still want to hear you. I, it's a good thing you're I muted, said, but I also talk. I also resided for nine years in a country named Guyana. And I'm going to give management a Guyanese so a Guyanese saying to help you. Yeah, and a guy and them have a saying, mouth open, story jump out. We, 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 we. But at least, man is man, you are more transparent and speaking than the press officer. Kudos. So, I want to get back to what man is man is saying. Man is, you are intelligent, you brother. Don't make it, don't make it, man, them put you out front to go, go make yourself look. To get a major event in the state requires, and Stan would know these things, because I'm over there, so I didn't know everything, would require state permission, the sheriff, the county, the city, all kind of approvals before you can bring a game of that magnitude here. There are Jamaican gangs that are fighting each other. There are all kind of things that the police would have to look at. And I, I recall that when we played Brazil, um in the gold cup there was some heavy immigration presence there because the immigration did have come and i just take man out of vehicle right so don't think that you can just turn up like a fish fry 
like is the bamboo lawn in 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 um out out uh, walkers wood and you book the bamboo lawn and what? and shrimp of his song all on the man i'm listening to the man he said that these they, they cannot be done in a day and a week additionally the reason why they are doing this is because the president said clearly they cannot afford to be playing a home game with no income coming in from an empty stadium it's not about the english players it, it is about the cheddar the moolah the money but so, Ketera, if Ketera, you don't, hola, if let you me don't have enough time to market and inform the fans of where the game is going to be how will they be able to book their tickets their hotel their leave from work so you can't do that a day before so it is a self-defeating thing if it's money you're going for because you're going to end up in an <laughs> empty stadium hold on you're going to end up in an empty stadium in a half rock with about two thousand fans we were there bertram in orlando when nobody knows the game are going and there's no jamaicans there and now you have a debt now to a stadium in miami or florida the city the county the the, the ambulance and all the people in my have to pay so manage. i mean Cataract is right. He's not normally right, but in this case, you know, you go off on these tangents and take us down paths we don't ask to be taken down. But he's right in this case, which is I have no idea if resources, what you're focused on, because you have any state in Jamaica, how you're going to go source a venue, which is going to be very expensive. You're not guaranteeing but, income because you have marketed product. But, how are you going to pay for it? And you have, you're already broke. I don't understand, cranky, Devin. Cranky. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Jamaica is responsible for the game that is held in Jamaica, in the national stadium. Now, in the interim, that the game have to play in a different venue, in a different country, Jamaica had nothing to do with it. A conquer calf have to find a place no, to play. All right, all right. Well on, well on, well on. You're me, wrong. Me, me just, me, 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 so me, 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 the secret agent was just calling, our double agent was just calling on the line just a while ago. We need to talk to him because he refer, refer to himself as we a lot, meaning in, JFF in there, probably have in there, in there. JFF, JFF have him on the books as the new spokesperson. So let me address a couple of things where him say. Um, first of all, him talk about oh, we as the diehard football fans are just the minority. That suggests to me that the secret agent go out and do a nice little survey of all of the Jamaican football fans and figure out, say, the sample size with Imtech determined that the more than 2 million people love football the way it is and don't want to change. But we ask because we want to change and we are the small minority. You need to address that secret agent. And number two, I take issue with this thing about right versus privilege. Because what that says to me is, and I don't know what kind of lens you guys are look, looking at it from, but this right versus privilege argument is kind of is kind of backwards in the sense that you're telling me that the JFF is giving me a gift by giving me information as a fan. And in the same breath, you're saying the JFF wants to play the game somewhere where they can get fans because fans bring the money, which means that that says to me that if fans bring the money, that means you, you're obligated to us because of our money I use to get your benefit, our money I use to spread your word, our money I use to, ce to celebrate the team. Without football, the JFF is nothing. Without us, there is no football. Because that means them only go out, they go play for themselves. So yes, we have a right. Man, we talk like that. Make it sound like say you're just walking with, with guns and I'm next man with your woman and say, oh, at least I just one man. No, we don't run them joke there. We don't run them joke there. You, 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 we have we have a, we have an opportunity to hold them and feet to the fire. A, our responsibility. If the JFF no answer to we and then no answer to government, who them answer to? So, Rome, I want to say one thing, Rome. You're listening and to Cataract too much with those women analogies. We don't, they, that's only allowed for Cataract because he has to back up his nonsensical arguments with these things to camouflage them. But, I, but you're right in terms of the whole con Look, my view is this the JFF don't tell us everything, or, or frankly, they're not telling us much, frankly, because they don't talk to the media a lot. The problem with the JFF is this, which is, as you're saying, you have customers and you have clients who is the public you want to support your program. And if you want to bring those in the videos, 
within your domain and for them to want to support what you do, you have to show that you're obligated to them. You have to show that you actually value them. And the JFF doesn't do, doesn't do that. I'm not sure if they are thoughtful enough to do that, but it doesn't appear that way. And so I don't want to denigrate one's intellect when it comes to these things. But the JFF, I've said this a thousand times, haven't demonstrated that they're really thoughtful about everything that affects their program and how they bring it all together. They don't. And we can pull, look at all different elements that inform their program and complain about them. We can do that and hopefully it will jar them to make changes, but I am not optimistic on that. All right, I want to run in one. I just want to address one thing that Devon said, because mm. we have to leave with facts here. The, this is a home game versus Canada. It is the responsibility of the Jamaica Football Federation. If the, if the Jamaica Football Federation chooses to move the game, because the game can be played, it is just that the government of Jamaica is not allowing fans in the stadium. Mm -hmm. So if the JFF chooses to move the game, it is not the responsibility of CONCACAF to pay for any venue or underwrite any costs associated with that move. That is between the home team and the away team. Cataract, if I'm far tonight, you're right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Rome, we are the fans, our stakeholders are the, are the, are the thing to hear. We see who, 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 who JFF are, 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 are culpable to are the persons who elected them, which are the Paris Association. So we can come on these forums and we talk yeah and our voice might be heard and it might reach the paris association who act but we the fans can't get them out you understand Mornings, man go ahead all right defend so yourself, a couple of man. yeah man. no no man, i mean i defend as i was very clear in what i said i listened to the program it was cataract who came and stated about what has been discussed of course, he explained that he heard it on radio, and Mike was pushed in face. So I explained it. To, I saw no, 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 no. I saw it on a television, TVJ, newscast, out of the mouth. So I don't, so, I don't watch it on my radio. Where, wherever, <laughs> right? When I, when I go down the road, so first thing. So it was cataract who stated. So yes, so here's the thing now, and let me say it again. You're, you're saying that they don't have any contingency plan. I am saying to you what you stated is a contingency plan. You stated it. But let me finish now, brother. Yeah, nobody will take up the mic like you talk. Relax and listen. And, and wipe off the sweat off your face. I must say, oh, be a man. Make you sweat so much. Get <laughs> Get Get up. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> is bad. Look here, Pastor Greenleaf. Look here, Pastor. Look here, Pastor, Pastor Greenleaf. Pastor Greenleaf. Hold on, the Pastor Greenleaf. Let the man finish, get around. Take your leg. Look here, Pastor. Let the man finish. You get the man. Take your leg. 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 your leg. Take your leg. your leg. Take your leg. About contingency for the states or plans for the states and the areas they, they may look at New York. You said that, and then you can't out of the other corner. You said that you heard about New York, and no, you, that not. is why no, I, I did you not. You said you heard about no, I did not. The person who spoke about New York identify yourself. Cataract, you said New York. Cataract, you said New York. No, 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 you said Cataract, and then you went to England and you spoke about the different places in england you said new york you said those things no right? i did not i did not use the word right. i did not say anything about new york i came no. and i said i heard about florida and i had a suggestion that london might be a better alternative than i gave them <laughs> i was uh, not the first well, that said new york well, well, you said new york but we will leave it you said you heard about a suggestion all right so i am saying to you you cannot say you heard about a suggestion and then said there is no contingency. What you can say is that you don't like it. There needs to be more details to it because if it's Miami, it is still a contingency plan. 
that does not mean they can't be making preparation for playing the gear here they could advocate in the government but at the same time it is possible that they could be making plans to play the game in miami or in england i'm saying that you don't know so you can't say there is none what you can say is that if there is it would be good for them to share the information so that people who want to go will have ample time to do it but they can't say there's no contingency so let's reason with common sense brother no let me talk to the extremist room whoever use extreme about girl and woman and coming a host and thing brother make me stick to football and woman and thing you understand me because um, and the man has stuck to the woman and put on the man has stuck to the woman and put on the man has stuck to the woman no, no. What Master, am I? Master, 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 no Master, you know, Cataract. You want to call me you want to call me Labour Right Pastor PNP Pastor? No, 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 Man, Bro, man, remember you're right, preaching tomorrow. Don't get so right angry. and privilege are two different things. It would it is it is beneficial to the GFF to share as much information and be as transparent as possible because that builds credibility. A right mean that they must do it and they have to do it. That is what a right means. When they have a right to do it, is that they, listen, they have a body that they respond to. If it were a right and they were not doing it, brother, they would not be in place. It's not a right. Understand that no youthy. You have to understand the difference with right, brother, and privilege, brother. Nobody you no extreme situation. So, you come in there, you have thing, brother. There's a difference between mornings. right and privilege. Mornings. You have a right is to it? life. You know, a, brother, you have a right to life. You know, have a right to have 10 women. That's not a right. Mornings. That's not a you. That's not a right. That's can I ask you a question, Manning? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, man, go ahead. Go ahead, you. I, <laughs> I, um, is it a right in principle? Could you look at it Rule from that perspective? No, it, it that is it a right in principle. Coach, whether it is verbal, whether it is verbal, coach, you don't want to see it. Coach, you don't want to see it. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Go ahead, man. You're done. What What is a right? Let because anything that is a right must be clearly established so that everybody, the organization that they are accountable to, establishes those rights. There is no the JFF cannot establish their own rights. It must be the organization that they are accountable to. So for you to operate as a federation, here are the, the principles, the guidelines. These are the things. You have these rights, you, and, and, and if you do these things, you breach certain of our rights or whatever. The lawyer, Neil, can say that, right? However, yeah, but, however, when, but, when no, it comes... Hold on, hold on. I want to ask Manny. Manny, make you know when you're done. Hold on, hold on. Let me ask the question. More on the follow-up. Hold on, hold on, Emma. Because Manny's address something. And then probably you're coming. Let me address Manny's feed. Yeah. First of all, I have a pay for your subscription for your Netflix. So you know who Pastor Greenleaf is. All right? Good. Now I'm not going to do it later, right? I'm paying me. So, they battle them. I reach you already. Next, let me help you. Do you know what a plan is, my brother? Can a plan? Are you going to plan a better well, rights and privilege? A contingency plan. I spoke about contingency plan. Neo spoke about rights and privilege. Con Neo. Wait, what, are what are we talking about? Plan or contingency plan? Hold on, hold on. My, my, hold on. My, my, hold on. My spiritual hey, warrior. Hold on. Well, Cataract and, and Mannings. Mannings. We, we have to have order. And pastor, yeah. you know about order. Silly um son man, you know say a tune for tune, you yeah, play but, your but time. Am and that, you but am I no, no. man, it's well, a no. personal tonight. Well, 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 because when you are speaking, you tell him to mute. So make him talk, and then you you have just jot down whatever you want to say. After cataract, we are gonna have room. 
So, man, is whatever you want to read, but just jot it down. Go All ahead, right. Kendra. So, clearly, Pastor Greenleaf never realized him read from the Old Testament and the New Testament. We are going to leave the New Testament part about rights to when Rome are going to beat you. We are deal with the contingency plan that you say I talk for two sides of my mouth. Exploring something and saying you're looking into something is not a plan, my friend. That is not a plan. Right? That is looking at options. That's not a plan. If there is a plan that you are saying that I am not happy with, I'm simply asking you, where can I purchase the tickets for the home game that is coming up in the next 30 days? And where should I seek to purchase my parking? And where should I get my transportation to? Should I order an Uber to the stadium in Jamaica? Or should I be looking for a flight to Miami or New York? I don't know. See, but I would like you now, when I finish, that's part one, to address that since you say that there is a plan in place. Because a plan would state that this is this is the, this is the place. You, you know about mute? I thought you knew about mute. That this is the place and this is the alternative look venue. And if by this time, the 10th, the 14th, the 25th, we don't have a response for Jamaica, this is the action we are going to take. It's called if, then, else. That's how it's done in contingency planning. If this happens, then this happens, else, this happens. That's how a contingency plan is done, right? It's not a sermon. It's a standard kind of document and it addresses several different contingencies now in addition to that what's the contingency plan if the jamaican government stops flights from the united kingdom since you say there is a contingency plan because contingency plan is not only about venue it has also to do with if you cannot get access to your players that's the second part of the contingency plan that I'm going to ask about. Become serious about this. It's not a joke. Because we could at the brink or could be, could be forfeiting a game. And so I want to know what the contingency plan is. You don't have to tell us every single aspect of it, but just answer those two aspects. Where is the game being played? The alternative venue? And where can I purchase those tickets? and then tell me what is the contingency to the Jamaican government due to the Delta variant, which comes from the UK and Brazil, mainly ban, go back to banning those flights until such time. So management, before you answer, coach, oh, uh, this is on. a point of issue. No, coach, you have to record these things. Mm -hmm. It's one of the very sh first time I've seen cataract and he almost spoiled it being a little bit concise, you know, it's a little bit concise, and also making sense. Yeah. So you need to frame these things and replay to him so you can leverage it going forward. Manning's man, the floor is yours. No, no not Manning's man time yet. Rome yeah, first. Sure, Rome. I'm sorry, Rome, Rome. Rome. No but my answer in Rome, though, right? No, Cataract, Cataract. I want him to, I, I told him to jot it down, and, and after Rome, he might adjust them. Go ahead. All right, couple things, couple things. Um. If you can, if you can decide for an analogy, well, we can't help you with that. You have, to go to, you have to go speak to the Lord and Savior. I know you know him. You have a relationship with him. So if me give, give, him, give you an analogy, you can pick it up. Sorry, man, it's man. I apologize. Anyway, so when we work off a little bit, I think we're, 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 um, we're cataract to this a while ago. Cataract explained to you about the contingency plan. And I'm going to use that and back up with cataract by explaining to you why we have a right to know the contingency plan because there's a difference between shareholders and stakeholders. As fans, as Jamaicans, as patrons of the football, we are stakeholders. Meaning we, it all comes down to us right here and the diaspora and everyone watching and wanting well for the Jamaica football. When the JFF go to the wherever vote them into power and report to them, however them report to, those guys got the job because of those parishes, yes? Those parish associations, they got the job because of them. Who is behind them? What parish do they represent? And what did 
and what's the main focal point behind them and their employment, the people behind them, which means that comes back to us. So this antiquated thinking of, of seeing someone in power and automatically not questioning that power is what got us the way we are. And that's what uh, and that's what's gonna keep us in a in a in a primitive type of mindset if we don't challenge authority. So if you and whoever, if you depend on the payroll I, I, this, as a spokesperson and willing to take whatever they give you without questioning what is being presented to you, that is exactly why I make the analogy. Right? You you are gonna sit there and say, Yes, we this is a privilege. Oh JF, thank you so much for telling me what you think I should know. So I, I, I know I don't have a right, but thank you so much for telling me what you think I should know. And the them type of world that we are living in, you know, 2021. You don't need some sharp to come and come tell us, say you, you have things in this world where you deserve as a patron, as a human being. You don't need no abolitionists to come and tell us, say there are certain things that you need to know as a patron, as a stakeholder in this country. In this federation, they mean if you answer to you. But if you don't want to take that real apologies, carry on. Coach, can well, I say something? Well, hold on. Um cranky asks first. Can we give uh money's man the floor? Man is, uh, answer your question. Yeah, money my answer, man. A long time in the cranky. So, so man is man, I'm gonna take a different tack from Rome and say this quickly, which is let's not say you believe that stakeholders have the right and obligation to answer. But isn't it good business? When you have clients to make sure those clients are happy and want to pursue value and buy your product, take a different angle. Don't take the obligation component of it as to what is going to mandate you to want to communicate to those individuals. You don't make good business sense to do so, so they know that you're being transparent. They buy. That's what clubs do across the world. Though. They want the fans to buy tickets. They want the fans to buy their product. So they try to reach those fans. Isn't that also a way of thinking about this, man? All right, um, quickly, quickly, engage, um, engage with fans. Um, I see this comment here on the bottom of the screen from me, yeah, man. Very right? good. Talk good. Good. Rome should read it. Mm. <laughs> Talking about um, rules about info that must be made public, promulgated by FIFA, right? Um, my whole thing is that Neo, Neo is an attorney at law, so he knows the concept of you know, laws and, and, and statutes and stuff like that that are, you know, that are set in stone, so to speak, right? And then there's also the whole issue of conventions, right? Which they, they, they might not be set in stone, mm -hmm. right? But it is, it is accepted to be the norm. It is accepted to be right in principle that this is how you must you know, go about, you know, doing certain and certain things. Now, my thing is that, and I, I use that analogy to say that, yes, you know, engaging with the, 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 the public or engaging with the, the, the fans, right, who are, who are, who is an important stakeholder and a key stakeholder, right, it might not be set in stone, right, but it is an important convention, right, that, Every single footballing organization, whether it is a national federation or a, a football club, every single one of them treats it as one of the most important aspects of their operations, right? Ensuring that the fans are in the loop, ensuring that the fans are engaged, ensuring that the fans are properly informed. Oh, I'm laughing. I know you will laugh for that. But uh, just for just for the, <laughs> a room, no matter. <laughs> but just for the purpose, just for the purpose of those who can't look on the screen to to, to read the, the comment. Um, after Manning's man respond, we are going into the best eleven. But there are rules about info that must be made public, promulgated by FIFA. The Jamaican government and JFF's own bylaws, and I, 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 I would assume that those information that they would have produced on their website are the ones that need to be promulgated. Also, Cranky made a very important point about engaging the funds, which I believe is critical, and that should be added to this sort of information. But, but this is a caveat. 
you don't have a right just as a Jamaican citizen or a fan of football. That is in the rules. So, Manning's man, take it away. All right. So, so let me go. Let me go from. Let me start from Cranky, and say this. Right. So, Cranky, and I'm gonna come to Cataract. You know, is one, two, three, going in order. So, Cranky said what I said in a calm and relaxed way, which is simply this. It is beneficial for the JFF to share as much information as possible because that shows transparency. And where there is transparency, then people build up trust, people believe in you. So there must be openness. So providing, sharing as much information is always best. That does not mean we have a right to know. All right? It's not a right. It is healthy in terms of engagement, marketability, transparency, and accountability. Mannings, Mannings, could you turn on the background noise? I oh, hear not something. A problem. Bit. Yeah, man, not Please. a problem. So let me get, let me get to cataract. So I agree with you totally cranky and i am advocating for that totally i have always said they are not transparent the jff not transparent they need to be transparent listen listen to my program i've asked i mean they're supposed to be fired a man not doing his job they are supposed to be fired and in, in fact listen i would agree with all of us getting rid of everybody right now and put other people in place who can do the job no problem and I'll give them my support. So that's not an issue. In fact, you know what is funny? Because there, there is information out there, Coach Minzy. Seeing that people going to take it down about me being on payroll, there's information out there that there have, there have been other persons. I mean, you know what? Let me not, let me, I, I, I'm not going to go there because, let me not, let me not, let me not go there about money thing. Let, let me not go there. But let me, let me come to you now. Um, Cataract, because you always change narrative. When I came on, I said this. Let me well, let me tell you what I when I came on and said. You made suggestions about venue and said they did not have any contingency plan. I said to you that you may not like the plan, it may not make sense to you, but it is a it's a contingency. A contingent, let me finish. A contingency does not have to be completed i can say to you if i don't go to church tomorrow if i don't go to church tomorrow i'm going to the beach right i have not told you what time i've not told you what car i've not told you what beach but there is a contingency in place if i don't go to church i'm going to the beach what you can see and what i can say there needs to be more details to the plan and i'm saying it based on what you said you heard or you, you have heard or you have seen that is the point so you can't be out of one thing coming up i don't know no can i don't i don't know what the, the plans are i don't know what the details are i came on on the premise of what you said you said that you you heard or you have seen about a game being played in miami and it is based on that you are making certain you are making certain suggestions because there's some sort of contingency in place, Katara. So what you have to do is to be balanced. Criticize where it is necessary. But here's the thing. You don't know. You, you speak as if you know that there's nothing happening. In the, and you don't know. Let me ask a direct question. So you no, I, I need to address hold what on you on said. Hold on no, 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 I no, 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 ask a direct I question. I didn't interrupt you. You know, coach, I didn't interrupt you. Coach, I, I, I did. Old man of thing, and so I you did. get to get no, this. Man. Let me ask you again, in case you I didn't, I didn't, in, but, but let me, may I finish? Yeah, I because you, you keep saying things that I did not say. No, I didn't say you, you said anything. Yes, I you did. You a question. Said, no, I before you, a question. you got, no, before you got to your question, you made a ton load of comments suggesting and implying that I said that there is a plan in place. And it has been worked out. So therefore, I need to come and share with you what the plan is. You made those assertions. Yes, in your I did make, because you made the assertion by saying that there is a plan 
And I may not I did, as a fan. I, I did I not say that. On, and I, I did not say that. Like I, Cataraki, I is there, did. Is Cataraki. You're, you're lying, Cataraki. Oh, all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Gentlemen, what? gentlemen, hold on, 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 ninja say hold on, a whole pack buckler fly, ninja say hold on, and him see what all I buckler and stand up in the air. <laughs> so we are freeze the buckle them. You know we are gonna make them buckle stay right there. So this conversation, I believe that we can take it up at another place or at another time the show is soon done and then we are going to talk about this i want to get to pick the best 11 going forward all right so well, Cataract well, i got well, interrupt manning's man well apparently covered manning's man, man never jot down the question well covered and, the man coach you always when manning's man something you always have to get a call on you go to three four other and then manning's man duck behind it's a serious thing coach you could have no, but, but, but Katarak, Katarak, hold on, no, hold on, no, Katarak, hold on. If Marlins man answer the question right when you ask, it is going to be a, 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 a everlasting conversation again, like what is going to the, the bickering going on now. So no, coach, everybody get coach. in them point. Respectfully, coach, I'll answer his question. You but, answer this question? No, man, I'll answer his question. I okay. want him to repeat his question, but I'll say this to you. At no point, Katarak, did I say the JFF have a plan. No point did I say that. So ask a question. And I will respectfully say that you said that there Get is a plan. A question, no man. That there is a plan. And that I may not like the plan, but I can't say that there is no plan. So if I can't say there's no plan, it must mean that there's a plan. They have a degree in a logic. What, a, so what kind of man? If, if you say I can't say there's no plan, that must mean there's a plan. And I'm asking you, in that plan, <laughs> where is the alternative venue for the October 11, whatever it is, home game against Canada, if the Jamaican government does not permit fans in the national stadium? One, how much is the ticket going to cost? Answer the two questions. Well, no, 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 no. And there's a third question. Oh, let me. Okay. Should there be a content a move by the government to contain the Delta variant spread, of which London, England, and Brazil are the two main countries, and the government bans flight from the United Kingdom? What is the contingency plan for players when we have no access for flights? to the united kingdom all right so so I, i'm going to answer your question and then make one statement and done my the, my intellectual capacity is so low it can't even comprehend well put together an eloquent hogwash so i have no answer to those questions because i don't know all right neo can answer you because if there's no plan if i say if, if i say no if if, if 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 based on what you said Katara. If I say, if, if you say, if there, if what do you say about well, uh, that? Mean so let me come here. Eh? Let me yes, come back. So. <laughs> no man, no man. I want to put it. I want to put it exactly how he said it. I don't want to add a word to it or take because Katarak says because I say he doesn't know that there's a plan. There must be a plan. You don't have to know Katarak. That's what Neil so, has been so, saying. So you're me. majoring in the minor. But that's one of the questions that you brought up. No, it's that's not a question. I'm... That's not a question. But I have answered your question, though. No, you haven't. Yeah, my intellectual Where? capacity is so low, I cannot it. understand your well put together hogwash. Oh, so, so I'll allow it's somebody hogwash. with. So it's hogwash. I, I, yeah. It's hogwash. Coach, make a move on because it's a get out of hand, you know. Yeah, man. Well, that's hard, a long no, time. It's hogwash to ask because you are selecting at 11. And I'm saying to you that the Prime Minister has indicated before that all cards are on the table. Mm -hmm. including the banning of flights mm -hmm. right and i'm saying so i so i am asking as a fan that what is the contingency if the flights from the united kingdom are banned and that is hogwash how am i supposed no. to know that what, what the, the bottom line is what he's saying is you don't have a right for no as a fan no, that's I, the bottom line so make how am i on. supposed to know that you don't know i don't know I'm you don't have the right for no i don't know you don't have the right for no cataract that's the bottom line 
That's what they've been saying. And, 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 and a Chet fan around. doesn't have the right to know where a game is being exactly. held. Chet exactly. Exactly. You don't have the right. No, no, I don't have a right to know where the game is being held. Exactly. There's no flight fans. That means there's no, no player fans. Player fans that come in cataract. All right, Jay, Jay anywhere. Jay, anywhere. Dangerous. Jay, anywhere. Jay, anywhere. Could you could you drop your best eleven, sir? The guy put All right. Cool. Let's, 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 uh, let's kick it kick it off now. Which so, formation? Same formation, right there, sir. All right. So, Blake in goal. No, no, no. Go back to it. Yeah. No, I'm going to refresh me, refresh it because it was idle. Oh, okay. All right. Coach, why don't I use the other one, Coach? Um, oh, God. What's his name again, man? The other squad builder thing with them. It's the right man. one, man. It's the right one. No, man, you have another one. Another better one than this, man. It. And it don't have a player in it. All right. Um, then we put Pinnock in the mega. Damian Lowe, Liam Moore, flank him. I can work at Chelsea now. Center midfield now. Um, Kevin Stewart, Lesso, and Anthony Grant. Left, Taxi Lawrence. Right, Bobby Reed. Leon Bailey. Michael Antonio. A little magician himself on the left, yes, sir. Taxi Lawrence is going to make up for any defensive efficiencies that he may lack, but Taxi Lawrence is going to make up for that, and he will be given the free roaming role. I want to see that squad. Room, what do you think about this? Um, not a not a big fan of the, the, the formation itself, sir. Not really. I go. It's a Chelsea fan anyway, so I understand why I mm. achieve the sort of formation in people. But um, I don't think we have any creativity in in this formation. Um, Maggie out on the left takes a, a whole lot of time. Game is be he'll be restricted over there and 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 the and the left hand side. Um. He will be playing best right behind the striker and in the number ten position. Um, Cesc Fabregas type role right there behind the striker. So um, I don't think we have much creativity in this one. Kevin Stewart and Anthony Grant. I think for me it's gonna be either or not with both of them. So that's what I think. And and not only that, yeah, you have a left-footed central defender in the middle. You have to switch him out on the left right. side. Oh, Pino. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, switch Damien switch, Damian, Damian, switch Damian low, put Damien low in the middle and Liam Moore on the right. No, but Liam Moore thrive better over here, saying so, you know, all this I'll go with him on the left. Not, Liam Moore is not on the left. Liam Moore is on the right. No, I'm saying better over this side. 
Me support a, 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 a Chelsea man team, you know. A J team, you know. I said, Mr. Porter, I'm not a Chelsea man, too. No. So if we go with a back play, <laughs> the bag of eggs, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a fan of the, the back three. Back three. I'm not, not a fan of the back three. Put Liam Moore in the center and, <laughs> and Damian Lowe on the right side. Of I'm, the I'm just a not, not a fan of the back three. <laughs> um, but I don't think that player, that, that person, that understanding the. No, mm. Liam Moore be in the center. So That's that what would, I was saying. Yeah, and Damon Lowe will be to the right. But I don't think that person is understanding the, the, this formation in terms of Maggie. Maggie would come into the center because Kamara Lawrence would have the Oval, overlapping the role. Mm. He and take that would be covering the left-hand side of the um, the defense. So he'd be covering that channel. So Maggie would not play as a left winger, even though you have him there. He would play behind the um, close to the striker to be able to as soon as he uses creativity so like for example where 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 him lego the defender the midfielder in the um costa rica game if he had done that closer to the striker he could have made the, the, the true pass the key pass himself it would never have to go through um taxi lawrence so he would have the ball yeah, but there's, a, there's a formation for that in three five two no the the, 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 the no man that that's no man, not he, he yeah, would, he there's a up, problem no man, in chief five two. No man, he wouldn't he wouldn't be playing at two. He wouldn't be playing up in the box. He, he, he wouldn't be playing in the two. He'll come in the midfield and them two and Bailey and that man go up front. That will be the formation then. If he's going to play in the middle, put him in the middle. That formation oh. is the chief four three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get what Rome is saying. But Bailey can't play in the middle. Bailey no not playing in the middle, Bailey play up front. Yeah, so man, he would play somewhere like there. Yeah, right. and then put Bailey up front with 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 and with, with, with up front because Bobby Antonio. would do the work up and down the flank too. Right, yeah, exactly. But because the, the same real, thing the real, said, the real problem but, with this formation. It's people. Just keep in mind, you know, when I put this squad, this eleven out there, I'm thinking like a Thomas Tuchel, you know. So this <laughs> this these players that's out there are very versatile. So with this eleven that I'm putting out there, and I start the game with this formation. If depending on what I see going on in the game, this formation can change into multiple other formations with the players that I have out there. Just keep that in mind. I'm not thinking like a one-dimensional coach, like a PE coach over there. Sir. So I'm not thinking like an Arteta neither, and I'm not thinking like an Ole. You know, this is multi multiple players out there that can that are very versatile, that are utility players. So they can play in multiple formations. Keep that in mind. All right, so that should now nah, stop your great family six door. I must talk up. <laughs> Anybody have a different um 11 where we think are the, uh, better yeah, than this? With, I don't think Bobby Reed should be on the field. Yeah, Bobby B has been the I weakest. Have my of the, Bobby Reed has been the I'll, weakest. Of the, I'll, um, the weakest of the English players, and there's no right I'll side go. defense here. I think Javin Brown should be on that right side instead of Bobby Reed. Because you're playing away from home, you have to have some defensive security. No, Qatar, these are the best 11 going forward, you know. Go, yeah, but the next match is against the United States. Yeah, but we now really pick it because of the United States game alone. We are saying, out of the, based on the three games that we play, what would be our best 11 going forward? Can I get a Aeronautic coach? Yeah, man. All right. I mean, first of all, the, the fa- yeah, yeah. Four two. No, no, no. Change, change formation. Four two three one. All right. Um. All right. So starters, I put Tari McGee where Bobby D card over read is. And then I would switch over Bobby and Bailey. You know what? Hold on. And second thought. And second thought. Here he goes already. All right. Leave leave it like that. Leave it like that. Leave it like that. All right. Um. Bala, the first buckle player from the Cebosa. In the Cebosa. Um, 
I would, you know what? I would go back with, I would go with Speedy, you know. So I took out Stewart and put um, Anthony Grant and, and Speedy as the, 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 the double pivot. Um, yeah, because the, the whole thing was which CDM would I would I go for if it would be Stuart or or Grant, right? I've seen Grant in the national colors and he looks decent and is a decent looking pairing with Williams. I'm also concerned well, about. I'm also concerned. Hold on one second. I'm also concerned about Stuart in terms of his, his injury problems uh, uh, from that perspective that affects whether or not he would feature in a best 11 for me personally um is this is this coach is this for me is this starting 11 rather inclusive of players that are on their way it's up to you i wouldn't want to put players on, on that are on their way and they are they are not here Okay, fair point. Fair point. That's what I say. Um, from the three games that would have played out of that um, roster, what's the best level from that um, list of players? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I would put Javin Brown at right back. Carson, I never get to the right back thing yet, man. I never get, I know me address the right back thing. So Javian Brown at right back. And yeah, that, that that's basically my squad. I toyed with putting Antonio out wide and playing Kima roof through the middle. Right, and having a front three of Bailey, Antonio and Roof. But I'll, I'll let it stay like how it's set up right. So I don't know what you guys think about that. What's the grade for this team? You have to, you have to come in section I ask me. You only can answer to man. Anybody can answer. Come in section. I got to drop for them number in the in the. All right. There are certain things I mean I agree with this. Thing. Number one, a couple of weeks ago, before the Gold Cup and everything, Ravel was the best thing since sliced bread and Ravel can't make that team. Where's Ravel? Why all of a sudden speedy better than Ravel? That that don't make sense. Fair point. Fair point. Um Ravel never make the first team either. Um I don't think Damien Lowe Damien Lowe should be in the team. I think um Pinnock and 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 Liam Moore should be the two center halves. Uh speedy where we are there just speedy so I, I i like the idea of of um Tariq Magi, but i do think that to utilize kemar roof and michael antonio we have to go back to the days when michael antonio was playing on the right hand side for west ham so put him on the right hand side and put kemar roof there in the middle um he actually started off as you guys know as a right back and then he go up to right wing and then there forward so he can do a job up there as well uh so that's that's what i think uh, uh, about that so my team essentially would be this minus um speedy for ravel minus damien low for liam moore and minus bobby reed bringing tomorrow put him up front and then put antonio up on the right that's essentially can, I defend, my team. can i defend speedy i think yeah. that I think that any one of them I would be fine with, um, Speedy or Ravel. But truth be told, I just think in recent times, Speedy has really been balling for the national team. Right? I mean, he has really impressed me. I'm not suggesting that the player is a better player than Ravel Morrison. I'm not suggesting that. I'd be crazy if I would suggest that. But I just think the form he's on right now for the national team Every time he, he touches the park for the national team since the Gold Cup, you know, he has been for most games that I can think of off the top of my head, for most of the games since the Gold Cup, he has been in the conversation.
for best reggae boy on the field, right? And in a number of circles, in a number of games, he has actually changed the game for us, his inclusion. Like, for instance, if he was substituted on. So that's why that's why I'm going with Speedy right now. I think he's in a good run of form for the national team. I think in the position where he would have played, which would be the number eight position, he would, one of the biggest attributes that you need is to pass the ball. And that would be the biggest deficiency at this point. What? No, 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 no. Speedy no, will, no, no. Speedy will, be, yeah. Speedy will be responsible for picking up the ball off of, off of the defence, off of Anthony Grant. No, and you're clearly, my friend, you clearly have not ball. seen. You're, my, um, Rome, you're clearly, my friend, you clearly have not seen Speedy's passing stats since the Gold Cup. Most games he's in the 90s. Most games are two, three pass for the entire game. The man misplaced. Literally, we have seen gay. Uh, there was one particular game, I don't remember which one it was off the top of my head right now. Is like two misplaced passes the entire game. Speedy, Manchester Speedy United pass. played today. Manchester United played today, and we had a defender that had a hundred percent passing accuracy. That no mean nothing from your stats, your passing stats no mean nothing. Yeah, but every boss, time, you every, have time, every, time pass, every time, every time, every time, every time, no, yeah, Rome, it can't be that Rome, 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 every time, Hector play, Hector finish game with a year of passing accuracy, because I'm talking pass, about what yeah. I'm seeing, not because I'm missing on a paper, not because I'm missing on paper, yeah, but you, you call this passing say. into question, so yes, I am telling I you that his passing is good, the eye test said that and the stats said that as well. And I'm telling you that the stats that you're looking at on paper is not necessarily is not necessarily the, the what it, what you what is going to be on the field. Like as the example that I gave you, as we say, Veran have a hundred percent passing accuracy. Why? Because you pass it to Maguire, Maguire pass it back to you, you pass it back to Maguire, you're going to get a hundred percent passing. No, but Speedy has done very well with progressing the ball for the national team in recent times. So a lot when, of the passes have been forward passes. In recent times, we haven't even had the ball, so how am I progressing? In t- hold we can't on. keep when possession does... of the ball, we can't make two or three passes. Rome, so, Rome, let's say, ball. let's say, for instance, a game like the like the the um Panama game, right? When he came onto the field in that particular game, he would have had a major impact, right? And he would have helped us to keep possession of the ball, right? And the more possession we had. It would have facilitated him being able at to what progress. At what point the in the Panama oh. game did we keep possession of the ball? At what point? But in the second half, we had more possession than the first. When Speedy came on, he had a positive impact in the game. I agree with you. It's not. It's not what we would like to. It, it, it's not ideal, right? In terms of the ideal amount of possession we would like, but you cannot deny the fact that Speedy has been playing well since the Gold Cup. He has been playing well. If you consider coming up and if you're running up and around playing well, then all right, cool. But none yeah, of but them are Look at even the Costa Rica game. Look at, look at the Costa Rica game. Look at the Costa Rica game, right? Speedy lost the ball five times the entire game. Five times the entire game. That is very good. That is very Five good. Five times the entire game. What was the position? What, what how, how much position of the ball will you have? If you if you have ten percent of the ball, look and you lose the ball Look at this. Look at this. Look yeah, at this. Yeah, yeah, have you have five percent of the ball. And you lose the ball five times. No, no, no. That's not how you look at it. From Rome, he had sixty-eight touches. That means he was he had good involvement in the game, and with sixty-eight touches. He lost possession of the football only five times for the entire 90. That's not bad for, for your, See, your, your, your I, number eight in the game. So, looking at that, that's not that, 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 that means of the 68 times he touched the ball, he made a pass and he completed 57 of those. 61 plus the five times he would lose the ball, meaning he couldn't, he couldn't, that referred to the misplaced passes, right? So there were seven other times 
where he, one of the, he had one dribble attempt, right? So that would be 62. But it was successful. Oh, yeah, man. No, man, I'm saying he had okay, 61 okay. passes plus one. That's 62, a dribble attempt, right? And then, no, you have to look at the interceptions, which are three, because he would have touched the ball when he intercepted the ball mm -hmm. or when he tackled. So he had an all-round excellent game. It's not start school in your eyes. Plus, his long, his passing range in terms of the long balls. Were Look eight, at that. Eight. I understand, you know. I understand. Eight long because balls, you know. Wait, eight, who yeah, under yeah. this? You're a room. You're playing a long room, ball. The man, I'm playing back to the room. room. The eyeballs tell us that the man had a decent game and the stats back it up. Look at this, look at this stat room. Long balls. Eight out of eight. So you're gonna tell me say the man I make a long ball pass to back to Andre Blake. Back to, 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 um, to one of the defenders, them Damien Lowe. The man yeah, makes so eight you know, so long pass and all eight of them were accurate. Those yeah, are so forward so. passes progressing yeah. the play. But, um, Formula, that is eight out of 61 passes forward. He does have a tendency to pass the ball laterally and turn the ball back. He does. He but, does. Robert, hold on. Hold on, Ravel does make a lot of type um um something the passes as well. Lateral, lateral passes as well. Because Ravel loves to Which play is one. why you're not so, supposed hold to hold use hold them. Ravel, great, man, brother. Ravel loves to play one two. She loves to give knock the ball to you laterally and then run and then you knock it back to you. And in but progress. Speedy. But Speedy does that as well. No, no. Speedy no, no, does that no, as no. well. No, 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 no. no. no, no. Speeding up play one two that basically be a triangle um thing you know um formula mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. with two other players. Then That's then the oh, speed you never... up very often in our game. No? I will agree. Oh, I speed will if agree. you do it, do not we never have the ball for them something there. They must I will agree that remember Robert most times when ball. we have the ball, you know. Most times when we have the balls, you know, we are we are not in tight spaces, you know. So you I will agree that you know. to be happening. I will agree, you know, Ravel does it more. I'm not saying that 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 is something that Ravel is known for. Mm -hmm. It's a part of his game that he is known for. I'm not saying Speedy but, does but it what, more. What, right? Coach, bring up Ravel's stuff for the Pan American, the Pan Panama, Panama game. Because someone like when the real people are so much sport and no other way. No. Bring up Ravel's stuff and look at it. Guys, I'm going to put on the stats argument of him. Well, <laughs> Yo, yo, make you understand. Oh, now go bring up. Oh, now go bring up a uh, stat pad, Zane, and and he and he cheat and everything. If you try to dictate how a man play in our game, where Jamaica have 40% of the ball. Ravel right? never play good in our Panama game. Nobody no play good in our Panama game. Nobody yeah. no play good in our game. Nobody no play good in our game. No game than where them play. Zin, so if you go look on stats and see a man and, and see man a man of 80 percent passing accuracy, just because he's not passing the ball laterally, I say he play good. good in None of them not play good. Maggie never played good in a custom. Maggie, Maggie had one moment of brilliance. One. What? One moment of brilliance in no, a big life. Here. Absolutely not. One Maggie was pressing in the second half. Don't do that. Don't it do it that. was it was a game of two halves for me for Maggie. For Maggie. He never started out so well. It kind yeah, of moved out had... of the in the first half. Hold on, hold and the coach so pulled him, well, on, coach yeah, man, pull him to the sideline, talk to him, and then at that at that point, uh, point in time, it was half time. So the coach would have had a talk with him half time. When Maggie come out half time, it was a different player on the field. The man had a lick, a, a shoulder bounce. The man, the man said, Maggie, I do that shoulder bounce, people. So, I mean, it, it was a game of two hours. So, so we basically, 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 we
I tell the water man, good job for have for bring for bring the water come. Like at that time job. Maggie showed the one man off. I told him I go 50-50 ball towards the sideline. And he showed the man and he and he don't win the ball, don't win the foul, but he showed the man and I let him say the man. Yeah, I misinterpret room. Because Maggie was the type of player. Well on Maggie was the type of player who was considered hesitant to go in tackles like that. Remember, we see him in the gold cup and we are saying he jump out of the tackle, you know. So when we see him do these things, we are saying that is improvement for him. He not have to really win the ball. Yeah, but, but improvement is different from having a great game, coach. Improvement, huh? say, say him improve. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with saying he improve. He might have improved performance, but he can't come and say he have a great game. No, Maggie but had I, one moment of brilliance. It was Rome, good. Rome, up it then. No, Rome, because I, I said, I said it was a game of two halves for Maggie. He never did that do so well in the first half. And based on what coach spoke to him about on the sideline, and then at halftime, he would have stepped up his game in the second half. That's what I saw. And the I, general I, consensus, the general I, consensus I, tells us to be fair. To be fair, um. Maggie's first half was inconsistent. He had Thanks. some good touches, but he also had some bad touches in that first half, right? But the second half, Maggie balled. So we can't agree with that. Problem, I want to hear the Ravel. That's what I'm them Ravel. 45 minutes. So right here, so close. Right there, so. If he had played 90 minutes, it means he would have had 36 minutes. Mm -hmm. Compare that to the 68. 68. The speedy was more the involved speedy in the game. Yeah. But can you know? um 15 from eight, 17 accurate passes. 88%. One long ball, one accurate. No, what else no one here? Lost position three times. But to be fair, I and look, I am a very objective so, individual. So that the man they have an 80% accuracy. That means he ain't great. He have a great Ooh. game. My, um, this eighty-eight percent. Yeah. No, for me, he never play good in another game. That that is my oh. opinion. No, Rome. When it, Rome, no, you're being question. disingenuous now in a room. Rome, my boss, you're being a little bit disingenuous, you know, because you were the one, you know. Me never use it for say say. Me never use the passing stat for me never say say. Oh, him pass X amount of percentage, so he had an exceptional game, you know. You were the one that called into question his passing. And said the man can't pass the ball. Yeah. I'm a set so bam. I'm a bring up the stats for sure. Yes, sir. So all I, mean, I agree with that. That's the exact point that I'm proving that the so pass is the so what was, what was speed really is, what was really speed is in the past. So speaking at the same game, you know, 45 mm -hmm. minutes, 30 touches. One good. Much of a little touch. Eight. 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 All right, so speedy 30 touches, 83%, 19 from 23. Crosses, none, nil, not accurate. Long ball, one from two. Mm, so this wasn't exceptional. He lost the, get the ball nine times. And I want, I want to say something about Ravel's stats as well because I am a very objective person, right? And that's why I said earlier on, I, I, I went with speedy, but honestly, I wouldn't, it, it, it wouldn't either or to be fair, either or, right? My thing is that to be fair to, 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 to Ravel, I do believe that he was played out of the, 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 the Panama game, right? In terms of there came a point in time in the game where they were not trying to progress the ball to Ravel. It, they were just buffing it up the park. Buffing it up the park, long balls up the park, and so Ravel would have been zoned out or would have been played out of that game. So even from an eye test standpoint, you look at that and say, well, you know, we're not seeing Ravel in the game. He's absent from the game. But to be fair to him, it wasn't really his fault. How, but, how, many, how many ground duels did Ravel enter in the game? Well, look, you know, you know. Look, the defensive the side of the game, how, what did he do? How many ground duels? And Cranky is saying it's apples and oranges. No, they speed it they on for Ravel and stayed in the same position. But look at this 90 minutes in Mexico. Okay. Look at the 45 minutes of Ravel. So the two 45 minutes. So we compare with apples and apples. We compare Ravel against 
Panama and speedy against Panama. So that Cranky can get it in head. So let me, this, this is why Cranky is saying it's apples to oranges. Ravel is a number 10. Ravel was played as a number 8. Yeah, but speedy, speedy. So, yeah, oh yeah, I'm compare Ravel that's to where, speedy. No, but that is where the coach put them to play. How did they play that position? Because it's still the number eight position they have been in that team to play. And so no consideration there. should be taken to that then. That shouldn't be so taken I'm into consideration. To you, I'm saying to you. Like you would still time. use the same analogy if you play Andre Blake in there. No, uh, but fool. No, no, but Rome. Yeah. Rome. You know, I may not, may not agree with that, Rome. It's not because not right. Ravel, Ravel can play either number 10 or, or number eight. And his game fits seamlessly into either. His game fits seamlessly into either the number 10 or the number 8 role. So you can't yeah. really label him as a, as a makeshift at that position because even when you look at for him playing for Derby, he comes deep for the ball a lot to help to progress the play. Well, it, why, why, does does he do, yeah. why does yeah, he you do know, that? Life funny. Why does he you do see your life funny? Before, I before mean, World Cup Derby. and everything, you know, you guys beat speed like crazy and say you can't play nice true. true you understand true. and because and speed is like the like best thing ever and, and start up the you know, going like speed is the best thing now it's hard to please everybody you know i'm oh, telling course, you it course, is. It not, no you can't get to that everyone it was Ravel plus said, 10. Everybody had said speed is game has been So hold on, let me ask you a question. You're going to use the one like a full full game where Jamaica play against Panama and Judge Ravel Morrison. No, let us Ravel plus 10. Let us that one like a full full game. game. Well, I yeah. yeah. the one full full game. You know why we said that? Remember that that room? You know why we said that? You know why we said that? You know why we said that? Room? Because at the time we never knew, we never knew that Speed would have raised this game to this level. That's why we said that at that time. <laughs> but where room? 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 Make a good point, still no. All right, well on, well on, well on. No, Devon. I should fear of Room. Make a good point because fear of Ravel. Well on, Devon. Ro made a good point because him say we have him or some people have him as the Lord Ravel and a two team pick on him not in there. That's the kind And guess what? And to be fair of Ravel, to be fair of Ravel, speedy player with a combative midfielder, holding midfielder, which is good at his trade. You understand what I'm saying? So it, 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 this conversation now going away. All right, Devon, you pick your side. I'm telling God, make you look good. <laughs> pick your yes, side. No, 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 Coach Porter. <laughs> me can't agree with that one, there, Coach. Me can't agree with that one, there. Devon, I'm um, feeling they never had Anthony Grant in the Gold Cup. No, hold on. He played I'm beside you. DJ. I get he played beside DJ in that Costa Rica. And then they have Michael Lecter behind him. And, no, Michael Lecter never played the Costa Rica game room. It was DJ and 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 Speedy were the, were the double pivot and yeah. Tyree Maggie playing the, the, the top lane. So also right? that one game they make you feel like say so yeah. But the man the play good in a, let every let game me. in a, the Gold Cup, even the America game. He was arguably our best player in that game. But the man play listen, good in a, every listen, game in a, the tournament. We... Coach. Devon, if, I, if I'm naming a team, I'm going with a different formation. And the reason what? why I'm going with a different formation, no, we don't need to play two holding midfielder anymore. We have we have a holding midfielder who can play right in front and protect the back two. So we so don't yeah, which need formation I use? We, four one three two. Let me see. We don't is. need four one two three two midfielder anymore. No, we don't. Yeah. Me not see that one there. Eh? Oh yeah, Mr. Four One Three Two. All right, see that. That look like it. Okay. And listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from 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 goal. Blake in goal. Mm -hmm. Low and more. All right, we change more. Mm -hmm. Lawrence on the left side. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm looking for a little bit more um, stability in our right back. 
Our right back will go forward, yes. And he is very athletic going forward. But when we lose position on the ball, he gets caught out and we are nowhere to be found. So I would play Adrian Mara Appa on the right back. Okay. <laughs> you know, say you know, say you do that guy and try to keep out. You know, say you get the Jamaica put tomorrow and just be a door up there, right? Back. <laughs> and go, and go, go, Grant, go ahead, Grant go ahead. is in his right spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll play Antonio on the right, not as a striker, not as a striker. Where? Card. You want to put the card over there? And and where um who is, is that speedy? Is, is that speedy? Speedy it is, yeah. Yeah. On the right, on the right, on the right, on the right, Antonio on the right. We are um thing, yes. Yeah. Where, where this Bobby, is Antonio up here. No, yeah, where Bobby here. is, yes, put him right there. Okay. Yeah, that me that's the man. Okay. Um Ravel in the center of the park. Bailey on the left. Wait, 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 in there. Bailey on the left are speedy, yes. Okay. And um, Bowser and Roof up top. Right side of people, quick and fast. Yeah, the three, the three center forward variant is pudding. Three number nine, the pudding. I would, um, what three number nine I, and what field? Antonio, Antonio, Antonio is not a number nine. But well, he's playing uh, number nine now. It doesn't and matter where guys, he's playing Antonio for his club. It right does back, not you know, matter him, where he's playing for his club. I'm playing him where I've seen him perform better for West Ham before he transitioned yeah. into a striker. And that's where he performed better. Yeah, remember Antonio started as a right back in the people. So if if yeah. if, if man want to put him right, he can't play any, as he can be, that's me this and earlier. He's a he better winger. Right you you get more out of him than My a striker. Is, I would I would have Corey Burke instead of Boza. Um, I think Corey Burke works listen. better when he connect with people. I would like to see Theodore Whitmore select this team and put them on the field. I mean, can tell you this: with the stadium full, they turn the stadium upside down. Doesn't matter who come in there. All right, let me see some voting on the squad, uh, the team. Yeah. All right, we start off with an eight, uh, a eight, two, seven, nine, five, five, eight out of ten, two balls are in the four, nine, <laughs> seven, negative ten, nine, triple negative ten. <laughs> 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 so five four four that put triple negative ten. listen sentiments sentiments don't play football that is one thing and if anybody who wants to look at the current jamaica team and have a dialogue with me about i can i can tell them what each player can bring and what each player can do you're right, but sentiments don't play football for you. Trust me, sentiments are, don't play football. I don't play why, football because of sentiments. Which is why you bring me back to I'm, the... To I'm, the to I'm, 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 I'm putting this field out, this team out who can perform on the field and give us a result. Devon. I'm I'm Mr. Potter, Mr. 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 put Ravel in at the team, and I really want to address this with everybody, you know, because at first... The comment section and everybody on the panel did want me, Edwin, me tell him, say, I don't think Ravel should be in the team if he's not playing for your squad. That was my initial perspective. And everybody tell me, say, it was Ravel plus 10 because of what them see with Ravel versus mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia. That was what everybody tell me. Ravel are the best thing since sliced bread because of what them see with Ravel versus um uh with Saudi Arabia. This was when Ravel wasn't in a team when he wasn't training. And now Ravel is playing with a team 
consistently week in week out. Oh. 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 Just because Gentlemen, you see, you see, you see, you see, you Rome, the context was different then. No. The context was different. Yes, Coach. it was. Coach. But Speedy was not on the scene. Then. When I say not on the scene, in terms of he did not factor into the, the debate at that point in time because the Gold Cup and the World Cup qualifiers had not been played. You also have to remember you know, that we have seen, to be fair, you know, we have seen more of Speedy in recent times than Ravel as well. And he has been performing for us on a consistent basis. But then the conversation was different because the context was different. Speedy never, we never, we never rate Speedy like that then. But <laughs> yeah, the you rate him after three games now. You rate him after what? three games. Three games Rome, after, after Rome, which we never had a play with none four at all. Rome, we played four Rome. games in the Gold Cup room. We played Rome. four games in the Gold Cup. I will play the three games in the, in the World Cup qualifiers. Plus, yes, to be fair, the Japan game was not a good game. It wasn't a good game for anybody. He had a decent showing in the Serbia game as well. But that is listen, a you game. See, man, you see, this, you see this team and the boys. You see this coach. You see this team and the board coach. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why people not gonna want this team. Because it's gonna make Theodore Whitmore look like a genius, and he will keep his job for a very long time. So people don't want to see this team on the board. I wanted to say that team. And this is that team that you would lose at home, right? Not when you're trying to be ultra defensive, but when you're going for a result at home. I would take off Kemaru and put Mikel and Tony up top. Yep. I switch them. Exchange, um, no, we not we not do the exchange. No, we not. Remember, I critique our critiquing team. We not oh, pull up. Right. Okay. Can yeah. I? Can I? Can I no, ask no, you, Katara? No, Devon. No, 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 Deva, no, no I'm gonna finish. ask him a question. No, Why I'm would you put Michael Antonio up top in front of Kemaru instead of Kemaru? Because I'm playing with two. I'm not gonna play with more than two number nines on the field. I do not believe in the three number nines. You're nine not seven. playing with two number right. nines on the field. Kemar Roof. Hold on. Kemar Roof. Kemar Roof. If you check. Everything is record. Kemar Roof is the only true number nine that we have in this team right now. I'm telling you, hands down. Everybody sure. else transformed from a different position. Kemar Roof is the only true number nine. Hey, good night, people. Yeah, yeah, Sean. Um, uh, so, Coach, um, thanks for having me on the show. I know yeah, I have um I have the privilege of being on your show and I don't have the right to be on your show. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, You're bringing up that, that conversation again. <laughs> really quick, Cataract. Cataract, really quick. So I understand three players might be in the squad that currently play in the number nine role for their um team. But that and, doesn't and mean Sean, that. Sean, you see when you critique that, just why you give it your team? Because we are, we, we are Sean, that time. Sean, you're a baller. Uh, no. Oh, but okay. the best coaches in the world don't play the sport that they coach. Let me just say that. True. Um, so when you have three number nines on the pitch, that doesn't mean that it's a problem because you're not playing them in the number nine rule. What you have to take a look at are their skills and their abilities to see if you can shift them outside of that number nine rule and play them in another position. So, yeah, a three number nine, but you're not necessarily play them in a three number nine position. And if you did, you better have a contingency plan as to how you are going to feed and supply them three number nines that you have. Three on number the nine. <laughs> But, but, but what I'd add to that, Sean, is that... I am choosing my words very selectively. I said contingency plan, tongue-in-cheek, hoping that you guys would get it, but anyway. But, Sean, what I'd add to that is that with this team and, and the three number nines you're talking about, if they aren't able to apply themselves 
and adapt to a different position, there lies problem. Yep, exactly. So it's the onus now is on the players to really make the adjustment. If it is but not working, this is where the contingency will come in. Gentlemen, quickly, the plan. we're moving, we're moving. Thing, Sean, your team. Thing is they already know. They already know. They already played <laughs> in that position umpteens at time. So, um, Devon, I'm Devon, say Devon well, hold on. Let me say something one time to Devon. Devon, you and I both know about muscle memory. You understand? A player like Mikel Antonio, who has been consistently playing at number nine, it is exactly. going to be very difficult for him now to make a quick adjustment because of the science of all the body is good, made up because of point. muscle memory. Don't let me go down that science with it, you know. Anyways, go let ahead. Let me say something about this quick um, squad, like really quick. This squad will um is kind of like in the um, EPL where they pick the team or the week or the team or the month. It's the best 11. And when we think about the best 11, we can't just think about the best skilled or the highest rating player. You have to kind of see how the team Balance comes team. together. So this is really an all-star team. But how often do we see those EPL R's? all-star teams how often do we look at it and say yo you know that team i can't win the whole thing no not really because it's just a bunch of players that have like skills and like abilities that's just gonna get in their own way um and with this team this team is very much like the italian type of teams that we would see in the um early to uh mid 90s where they essentially dominate the midfield and they give up the wings now, this is my problem with the squad. This squad is abandoning the wings, and our strength is wing play and the um, barrage of attacking <laughs> or center attacking midfield players that um, we have. Um, room. I hear some laughter. Um, why, hold on. Why, 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 why do you say we are abandoning the wings? Yeah, because. Okay, so the way these players are lined up, right? No, no, no. Don't watch how the players are lined up. They're okay. lined up because of how they um the the um the 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 the, the board is. Don't watch how the players are lined up. So All right, let me say something real quick. Uh, it's because of Jamaica, how the board Jamaica, is. Don't watch how the Jamaica players are lined up. They are, wing player, they are playing as wingers. Are they playing. are wingers. Antonio and 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 Bailey are wingers. Jamaica doesn't have wing play. We don't have a way of playing. We have a tennis we basically play every time we go there. That's the number one. Number two, I want to bring this full circle to where coach said earlier that second ago. We talk about muscle memory. Now, if if coach Devon picked this team and decides he want to put Antonio in the midfield and muscle memory comes into play, which is a reason why not to play him, then where is the where is the attrition for what? Theodore Whitmore do for put two man when I play defensive midfield. I expect them to play defensive midfield against Panama. There is <laughs> there's always there is always the talk about how the players them play bad, and there is mm -hmm. no talk about these two man never just posted in the midfield, no hey. time at all. No, that is not true. And they were in there. No, no, that is not true. This man, Every, these two man said, was expected. Everybody said, everybody said DJ and 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 Rabel playing central defensive midfield. Yeah, it was was yeah. No. Three number it's three number ten for them. Complete team. crap. Yeah. Everybody said that, so oh, don't do that. Coach, yeah. let us go that side. Yeah, man, keep quickly, because... Keep, keep the same thing as well, right? The last, the last um, team is the same people. Uh, Antonio up front. Hold on, hold on. I thought I was going to run my side. Hold on. At, Chat about just leave frag me. <laughs> no, we're going to leave for my man. But I, 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 I chess we have played a draft. But we're going to do it fast, we can get it. Both are... Um, oh, Tyreek McGee. We're here. No. We're Boza. For Boza. Up front. Boza. What? Just relax now, my youth. You dropped off my bed last night. <laughs> All right. Back quickly, quickly, 10. quickly. And instead of Rue, Jamal Lowe. Jamal Lowe no play yet. I mean, anyway, play yet. Anyways, anyways, go on. Play yet. Jamal All right, next, next, next. Right. The, the, the right back, my right back would be Javien Brown. Mm -hmm. That's it? That's it. All right. Explain why Muggy up there, sir. Explain why Jamal Lowe is this right is, here. And again, I'm saying that's Devon. These are the two wingers. So they're not really 
stuck in like this, like how the, the, the screen, the graphic shows. They are going to be the wingers. Mm -hmm. Right? Jama low right wing. They yeah, are they big. are wingers. They are wingers. They are wingers. They're not tucked in right with next to Rabbit. It's, it's the board. It's the board because right. of. Yeah. It's, it's, it's in the graphic. Right? Rate that team of people. Rate that team of so, Kyrie Maggie Maggie nine. is the creative is the creative force. And I wouldn't want him. That's the number 10 jersey. That's the number 10 jersey in the academy. To play and make those little tricky when he make those little tricky runs and he make those he beat a defender, he must be giving the ball to Mikhail Antonio in a dangerous position. Yeah, but you're you're playing with two similar players at at, at two up similar top, players. Yeah. Um yeah. Tyreek Maggie and Ravel Morrison. Two different players. No, no, they're not Ravel, Ravel Morrison is a passing master. <laughs> Tyreek Maggie you have the ability to dismiss players with a turn of pace. Tariq Maggie is a pass at the ball as well. He has he has some he has a he has passing, but Ravel is a pass master. Um they're similar players Maggie, to me. Maggie, so. Maggie I, I agree with Captain I agree. They they two Maggie, of them Maggie, different, them different. Yeah, Maggie is more of a creator than, than than anything else. Maggie, Maggie is more of a creator. All right, Ketar, when, when you open up the, the, the midfield, put Leon Bailey out here, sir, and Jamalo out here, sir. You yeah. know, I think uh, Anthony Grant have a whole power work for you. Yes. No. But, but I believe that Low, Jamal Low does his fair share of defensive work. And Leon Bailey played as a wing back in Germany. So he knows how to do defensive work, even though he doesn't like to do it. But he will have to do it. In, remember this, in, remember this in a formation like this, what's your defensive? Ahead. In a formation like this, what's your defensive formation? When you lose position of the ball, how mm -hmm. do you keep your shape? And what shape do you keep? Hmm. The two white men fall back, meaning Jamal Lowe and Liam Bailey would have defensive responsibility to cover inside. And you have to press. That's a defensive shape. Yes, okay, no and and let me so tell you what, how you defend. Let me tell you in a four-one-three-two how you defend. You defend as a four-five-one. So so, Ravel Morrison will drop with Anthony Grant. Tyreek Maggie have to drop and pick Where up Ravel's is. position. Okay, so this is how you get your four-five-one. And Michael and Tony would have to press. Um. Right. Yes, the first to the yeah. ball. That's him. Yes. All right, Thank gentlemen, you. quickly, quickly. Sean, you're a team. This is a final, final stop. Final, so, final. Uh, Which formation? Blake, so it's a 4 2 3 1. Mm -hmm. And it is Blake. Yes. Um, Kemar Lawrence, Moore, Mariapa. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Then um Grant mm -hmm. and uh so I am going with Ravel right and based on how things are going in the game at the sixty fifth minute somewhere sixty fifth if things not working I'm switching Ravel with Speedy um okay. but props to Speedy for how he has um improved mm -hmm. um. I am going with Maggie, of course, mm -hmm. about damn time. Um, on on the left, I'm going with Leon. Mm -hmm. Right, Roof, and Mikel Antonio. Great that team of people. Quick and Roof. fast. Roof is not a winner. Yeah, man, he can't play across a front tree. Yeah. He plays anywhere on the front line. Anywhere on the front line. Yeah. They watch no. one year for Leeds United. That's two game of two game. No, 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 he does. He does cataract. He may get a line for me now. Just the right back alone, would I just have any. So, all right, so. Is it his best me, position, though? Is all let me explain the right back. Position? Let me explain the right oh. back. So, I'm putting Mariapa on the right because defensively, he provides coverage for Ravel. And 
people say he doesn't do much going forward, but I can tell you, I've seen mm -hmm. more of him going forward than I have from um, Alvas Powell. And there's a thank nice you, balance. Between thank you very his, much. Um, attacking play and his um, defense. So I think we get the best of both worlds. So that's why I'm going with Mariapa on the right. So what do you think of Javien Brown? Um, I haven't seen enough of him. I haven't watched enough of him. Um, so I'm going with tried and true. You can't have a man in at the team with so many caps and he's sitting on the bench and it's not like him come in a game like players that we're not going to mention and just can't see goal after goal or make huge mistakes like goal after goal. You have to tell me why Mariapa or what you have seen from Mariapa that would cause you to eliminate him from this squad because his track record speaks speaks for itself. Tried and proven. Tried and proven. Anna diligence and service. Anna diligence and service. Any other any other critique for this one? Since we don't have any, we see some old um good score coming in the comment. Eight, nine, ten. I see a negative ten on a on a on a one. But yeah. most most of it ten, seven, nine, eight. To be fair, we can't just throw out the highest score and we can't throw out the lowest score and just look at everything in between. Eight and nine. So my real biggest concern was Speedy and Ravel. I was thinking I was going to play uh, Speedy on the right of Grant and then play Ravel where McGee is because, may I tell you, Speedy, 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 the man has improved tremendously. Five he lost the ball five times in the lot in the last games. If everybody on the Jamaican team lost the ball only five times in a, a game, we kill and crush everything we come across. Five times? Come on, man. That's big. So, since Rahel can't play against USA, oh, you, you're saying that you would have put speedy right this one. So my so my dilemma was should I play Ravel or should I play Speedy? And somebody made a good point. Speedy played well across from Grant. I'm not saying that. I mean, so one of the things why he played so well was because he had somebody good to his left. So I want to see what Ravel can do across from Grant. Then, based on that one game, if he doesn't do as well as Speedy, then Speedy gets the position. If he does better, then it's yeah, Ravel's but, position. But, 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 but I want to see what Ravel can do across from Grant. As I said, you know, Speedy played alongside DJ in the World Cup and played well. He no, but no, but he did not play as well as the last game. He played okay, but what? not like the last game where he's getting like oh, hold, on, hold, on. hold on. Did you see the, the Costa Rica game in the Gold Cup boss? I saw the Costa Rica game. And how much, you think that, how much, you think how that much the Costa Rica game, game yesterday, you think that the, the Costa Rica game yesterday from Speedy, not yesterday, the other day was a better performance, right. the World Cup qualifying Costa Rica game. You so, thought that was a better performance on Speedy than the Gold Cup Costa Rica game? I think, I think the team overall played a better game in the Gold Cup game, right? I don't remember the individual stats. And unlike Rome, Rome, Mena, Throwing the shades, but unlike Room, I am a big um supporter and believer in stats and a diligence and service. Again, see him. Um, so I am a big believer in <laughs> stats. The stats from Speedy's last game is crazy, and it's nothing compared to the Gold Cup. No, rating. that's not true. So, boss. Look at, no, but okay. look at the stats right. from the Costa Rica game in the Gold Cup. They were I excellent. Stand corrected. They were. They were if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. They were if probably I am wrong, I'm wrong. Did you watch that? Right. They were, let, me, let me Google it right now. They were probably better if memory served me right. Give me one sec. Let me say this. Pull Give me one second. One second. Right. Hold on. You're fine. You're fine. You're your long last cousin, though. One second. Listen one to second. me. Right. We don't have one enough time. We don't have enough time. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This was the Speedy Show. But Speedy. I need to see what Ravel can Speedy do across from Grant. I have to see what Ravel can do across from Grant. Period. 
have to wait for the after party, Hannah Diligence yeah, and service. You have to wait yeah. for the after party, Hannah Diligence and service. You have to wait for the after party, Hannah Diligence yeah man, big up yourself people. Thanks again for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Tomorrow you know we have our next um, time to deal with um, the final night of the Triple Treat. Enough respect. Thanks to the panelists. Stan Cranky, Formula, Ketara, um, Rome, Devon, um, Sean, Dre Anyweather. Who else is on? I don't remember who else was on, but big up on yourself people. Big up all the commenters in the comment section. Big up Fresh, big up Jason. Big up, shut up, everybody else. You don't want to call me. Can't remember everybody's name, but just big up on yourself. Until next time. Until next time, people. Big up the ladies. Peace, Peace along with them. All the ladies them inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Larry and John. Can I, can I just say one thing first, man? When did the I say that? The style of flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. When did I see that? Make a word. Make a word.